Let First Lockhart National Bank reward you with First Star Rewards Checking, where you earn on your rewards checking balance, get free ATM refunds nationwide, plus so much more. Come on by one of our locations in Lockhart, Kyle, or South Austin to visit with one of our bankers to see how you can get started earning rewards today. You can also check us out online at firstlockhart.com. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to McCallum High School here in Austin, Texas, where we're finally going to be playing some varsity volleyball now. The freshmen win all three matches, and they had to come from behind to win by two in their final match, just like the JV did. It was both teams, freshmen and JV, having to come from behind in their respective third matches to win both of them winners tonight. And now we're getting ready for the big time where we have number three, McCall Lady Knights, who come in at 17-16, six and two in district play. They are third in district. Your Lockhart Lady Lions coming at 23 and nine. They're seven and one, and they're in second place in district play. So this is a very, very big match for both teams. The Lady Knights, their last three matches, they beat LBJ three games to two. They beat Lanier three games to none, and they lost to Dripping Springs three games to zero. For the Lady Lions, their last three matches, they beat Crockett three to nothing. They beat LBJ three to nothing, and they beat Lanier three to nothing. Lockhart has won three straight. McCollum has won two straight. Head coach Alex Bothy is the Lockhart coach, and head coach Amy Broadback is in charge of the McCollum Lady Knights. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get into our interviews. We had interviews with uh, four of the Lady Lions, and they weren't too excited about doing that, but they did just fine. And then we went ahead and we got the head coach, and I'm going to go with the players first, and then we'll get in there and uh, get the head coach's interview. So first off, we're going to do with the Sydney Shaw interview. Sydney Shaw, one of the senior players here, also one of our star basketball players. This is what Sydney Shaw had to say about her interview tonight. Let me get this thing hooked up. I'm fighting my phone right now. All right, here we go. This is Scott Smith with Lion Country Broadcast Network and KMAX Sports through Vibe Magazine. And I am here with Sydney Shaw, a senior volleyball player who also happens to be one of our star basketball players. We'll get to see you do that here pretty soon. So, Sydney, how has your senior year in volleyball gone so far? Uh, it's been really good. We've had a lot of success, and I've learned a lot. Very good. Now, you didn't play last year, did you? Yeah, I did. You did? Okay, because someone was telling me it was your first year, and I thought, man, if this is your first year to play volleyball, holy cow. So here's the second question. What are your goals for the remainder of your senior year? Uh, our goals are to go to playoffs, and then after that, we're going to try to go to state. Awesome. And then the last one, who do you want to give a shout-out to? I want to give a shout-out to my parents and my grandparents for always coming to my games and supporting me. All right. Again, that's Sydney Shaw, senior volleyball player. Thank you, Sydney. Sydney Shaw. Now we'll move on to the next one. We're going to go to Kia Young, another one of the seniors. She was very nervous, but she did just fine. Here's what Kia had to say about tonight. This is Scott Smith, Lion Country Broadcast Network, KMAX Sports. Through Vibe Magazine, I'm here with Kia Young, a senior volleyball player. And Kia, I've got three questions for you. First question, how has your senior season gone so far? I feel like my senior season is going down great. Okay, is there any highlights that you can remember that you might want to tell us about? That I had an amazing kill against Wimberley. That's awesome. Okay, what are your goals for the remainder of the season? For us to go to state. Very good. Last one's the easy one. Who do you want to give a shout out to? I want to give a shout out to my mom and my dad and my boyfriend. Very good. Again, Kia Young, senior volleyball player, we want to thank you very much and good luck tonight. Thank you. All right, that was Kia Young. And again, they're short and sweet, but we get it done. Now we go to Carly Cadillo. Give, give a shout out to her dad who's messing around right now golfing. Rudy Cadillo, here's what your daughter had to say. This is Scott Smith with Lion Country Broadcast Network and KMAX Sports through Vibe Magazine. And we are here now with the only underclassman I'm talking to tonight, and that is junior Carly Cadillo. I had a video from her dad earlier 
I'm going to shout out to Rudy because he's usually my guy that tells me about the scores, but I've got his daughter here tonight. As you, if you see soccer, you know she's a great soccer player all over the field. She's the same way in volleyball. If you've never seen this girl play, you need to get out here and get and see her play because she's something else. All right, so how has your junior year been for you this year? It's been great. It's one of the most successful years of volleyball I've played so far, and I love my team. Very good. Now, what are your goals for the remainder of this season? Well, our goals, our goals are first to make it to playoffs and then next to state. Awesome. And the last one, who do you want to give a shout-out to? I would like to give a shout out to my parents for always supporting me in everything I do and to Coach Sibley for introducing me to the sport that I love. Very good. Again, that's Carla Cadilla. Thank you very much. All right, so that was Carla Cadilla. Now we're going to move on to the last one for the night. We're going to try. We've got games set up for volleyball. Uh, we aren't going to be doing next Tuesday's game, but we will be doing uh, the next two Tuesdays where they're at home. And here's our last interview for girls on the volleyball team. Abby Ruggio, one of our star players and a senior player for us. This is what Abby had to say tonight about the game. This is Scott Smith with Lion Country Broadcast Network, KMAX Sports, through Vibe Magazine. I'm here with senior Abby Ruggio, who's lighting up the area with all kinds of stats. I'm going to ask you three questions, so here we go. Question number one, how has your senior season gone so far? Our senior season has been fantastic. We have, com uh, we have competed our whole, we've completely changed our whole environment from last year and our, have changed our record as well. We are 7-1 and one right now and are going to be 8-1 and one tonight. We will be going to play, we will be continuing to play us in second place as we take on a victory tonight. Very good. Now my second question for you. What are your goals for the remainder of this season? To fight hard tonight to secu secure our number two spot in playoffs and finish on a high note going into playoffs. This last one, I have a feeling I know what this is going to be about, but who do you want to give a shout out to? I want to shout out to my team that we own this place. Very good. Again, this is senior Abby Ruggio, and I want to wish you good night. Uh, good luck. <laughs> Thank you. All right, and that was Abby Ruggio and one of our, another one of our senior players. We have five of them, so we'll catch the other two when we have the home game, and I believe that one is against Dripping Springs. Now we're going to go to the Coach Bothy uh, interview, and uh, we're about 345 away from tip-off here for the uh, first serve, so we'll have to get Coach Bothy here, and she's going to close it out for us as her interview is about three minutes long. Here's what Coach Alex Bothy had to say about the game tonight. This is Scott Smith, Lion Country Broadcast Network, KMAX Sports, Invite Magazine. I'm here with Coach Alex Bothy. We're here in McCallum, where we're taking on a number three team in the, in the district, where we're number two, and uh, game separates us apart. So tonight is huge as far as placings and seedings. So, Coach, I'm going to ask you question number one. It looks like this is the third time you face this team, and it's usually for teams tough to beat a team three times in a year. Uh, how, how have the girls prepared for this so that they can make sure they sweep them this year? Um, we've been preparing just like we prepare for every single game. Uh, we prepare for we prepare for McAllen by um, you know just playing our normal game. I talk to the girls a lot about mental toughness and you know doing their job, and they're just, they're ready. They're ready to play. They're ready to get out here and. We've just been practicing a whole bunch on what they run. Since we've played them twice, we kind of have an idea about, we have a great idea about their offense and defense and everything that they run. So we're ready for them this time, and we've talked about how beating a team for the third time is difficult, but they're ready for the challenge. That's awesome. So my second question for you is, do you feel the team has hit that stride at the right time come playoff time? Are we, are we where we need to be come to the playoffs? Oh, definitely. I mean, these girls have worked their tails off day in and day out and so I think they're definitely ready um, and they're, they definitely hit their stride. They're working hard every single day and I think we have a lot of momentum going into the playoffs and um, when we take this game and then we continue um, game one game at a time, I think I mean we're going to hit our stride perfectly just in time for playoffs. All right, and then the last question, I know this is almost like a crapshoot when it comes to this, but do we have any idea, let's just say that we take second in district, do we have any idea who we might be playing in the by districts? Say we take second in district, um, our... The best option is probably going to be Harlandale from San Antonio or Tyvee. Uh, they are third and fourth in the district that we would be playing in. 
Uh, Bernie and Seguin are also in the top four in that district, so it's kind of a toss-up based on how they do and how we turn out. So, but right now we're kind of looking at Harlandale or Tybee. So, where is that by district going to be played at? Probably around the New Braunfels area, somewhere in between the San Antonio and Lockhart area. So we're kind of shooting for New Braunfels, Canyon, Steel, somewhere around that area. Okay. And then as usual, anybody you want to give a shout out to you tonight? Um, I'd actually like to give a shout out to my parents. They're uh, my biggest support system. They've come to every single solitary game and they cheer on these girls, not just me, for every single game. And they're... Um, they're just definitely the biggest support system I've got, so I just want to shout out them. All right. Well, Coach, thank you for your time. I know you're a busy woman. Good luck to you. Thank you very much. All right. All right, and that was Coach. So now we've gotten all the interviews out of the way, and I was just informed by my sidekick here as to we still have about another 12 minutes to go before we actually get to start playing. I'm going to give a shout out, though. I've... I thought he was going to show up tonight and do a little volleyball for the first time in his life, but he wasn't able to make it. want to give a shout-out to the Sarge. He's listening. My right-hand man over there in football. It's, we're, we're without him. We almost, we almost feel naked here. As McKelty and m myself, we, uh, we usually have the Sarge sitting right in between us, and he's not here with us tonight, so we wanted to wish him well. And then, you know, it's just one of those things to where uh, – I was asked uh, if I knew anything about volleyball. Well, yes, I have coached volleyball before, and so I do. But as far as announcing, this is going to be my first time to ever do the play-by-play -play for volleyball. So we'll see how that goes. The good thing is McKelty's done a little bit of uh, playing of volleyball herself. So if I start bombing out, we'll just put her to work. Um, what we will do, because there's very little time in a volleyball match to get all of our sponsorships in, what we're going to do right now while they're still warming up is go through a number one of our, a lot of our sponsors, if not all of them, trying to get them ready uh, out there because we just don't know how many times we're going to be able to go to the commercials here. So we're going to go ahead and take a commercial break here, and I'm just waiting for my sidekick to get ready. So here we go. You're listening to Lion Country Broadcast Network and KMX Sports through Bright Magazine. Let First Lockhart National Bank reward you with First Star Rewards Checking, where you earn on your rewards checking balance, get free ATM refunds nationwide, plus so much more. Come on by one of our locations in Lockhart, Kyle, or South Austin to visit with one of our bankers to see how you can get started earning rewards today. You can also check us out online at firstlockhart.com. Dr. Peterson and his staff at Chisholm Trail Clinic of Chiropractic are here to serve you. We've been voted Best Chiropractor and Best Chiropractor's Office for five years running. Are you bothered by headaches, back pain, or neck pain? Call Chisholm Trail Clinic of Chiropractic at 512-668-4163 to make your appointment. Mention this ad to receive a consultation, exam, and x-rays if needed for only $20. Call 512-668-4163 and begin your journey to hope, healing, and health. Hello Americans, Mark Twain said, a broken promise is better than no promise at all. Well, you and I both know when we make a promise, we keep it. Chuck Nash Auto Group has been doing that for years. They offer up the kind of one-on-one -on -one service that'll follow the taillights of your pre-owned vehicle deep into that gorgeous Texas sunset. By the way, Chuck Nash will give you $750 more for your car, buy or trade. And now you know the best of the story. You can tell the Pitmasters are making the magic happen every time you walk through the doors of Kreitz Market. The delicious smell of smoked meats greets your every visit. Not going to be in Lockhart for a while? Kreitz Market ships nationwide. Stop by Kreitz Market at 619 North Colorado in Lockhart or find us on the web, kreitzmarket.com. That's K-R-E-U-Z market.com. No sauce, no forks, just good taste, naturally. Chisholm Trail Barbecue features slow-cooked brisket, hot sausage, beef, and pork ribs done the right way. In a town famous for barbecue, Chisholm Trail is where the locals come to eat. Visit Chisholm Trail Barbecue, 1323 South Colorado in Lockhart, and come by after the game. Chisholm Trail Barbecue stays open until midnight after every home football game. 
Meitler Storage is locally owned by Angela and Darren Meitler. Since 2002, Meitler Storage is just off Highway 142 in Maxwell, Texas, across from the Valero. For an appointment, call 512-398-7100. Your business is always appreciated. And a reminder, once a lion, always a lion. Go Lions! Johnny & Sons Pain & Body has been Lockhart's premier collision repair and auto body shop since 1967. Certified iCar Standard, the highest ranking in the collision industry. For all your collision needs, come by and see Johnny & Sons 400 Blackjack in Lockhart. Johnny & Sons Pain & Body, we won't steer you wrong. For over 15 years, Raina Drywall and Paint has been serving Lockhart and the surrounding counties. We are experienced in all phases of construction. You can count on us for any exterior or interior painting job. Call 512-925-0634 to schedule an appointment with Raina Drywall and Paint today. All right, we're back here at McCollum High School here in Austin, Texas, where the Lady Knights are getting be warming up here in just a little bit right now. Lockhart's in, uh, winding down on their warm-ups for the night. Something that when I was looking at these standings and everything for our uh, District 25, Region 4 for Class 5A, right now uh, LBJ out of San Antonio, they're, they're, uh, they're the number four seed, and that's a team that Lockhart's dominated in, in play this year. The number three seed, again, is McCallum, and they've played them in a tournament, and they played them in, in district play. They beat them three to one in one of their matches. They beat them three to nothing in the other match. So this is a team that can beat us if we're not ready to play, but it's also a team that we've kind of we've kind of held a number on. But again, they're playing them for the third time this year, and it is always difficult to beat a team three times in a season. But tonight we'll see what we've got going on. As far as the number one seed, that's Dripping Springs, and they are totally dominating every single team in our district that they play. Lockhart gave them some tough matches, but they still swept us in three. And uh, but they're kind of who you got to go through if you want to win our district. Lockhart will have them again. I believe it is not next Tuesday, but the Tuesday after that, we'll be at home and we'll have that game on the air. And that will be against Dripping Springs. That will be for the probably the district title right there, or at least a, a chance for the Lady Lions to get a, a co-championship uh, there. Um, as far as um, LBJ, there's a, they've got a couple teams that are right behind him trying to uh, bite him on that fourth spot. But it looks like if Lockhart, if my math is correct, if Lockhart wins tonight, they will clinch a playoff spot. It's pretty much, I mean, you don't want to just kind of say it, but pretty much they've already clinched the playoff spot. But technically, mathematically, if they win tonight, they're in. There's no way that they will drop out of the playoffs if they can get a victory tonight. So it's going to be a big contest for them. Um, and I'm going to put my my uh, producer on, on the spot here in a minute. But uh, basically what we've got going on tonight for our team is our QA tonight. We've had him numerous times. And that is Mitchell Padgett. Mitchell, thanks for your help. We appreciate the things that you do, making sure that we uh, are on the air, sounding okay. And uh, so far, we're, you know, this is the first time we've done volleyball. So it, th there's a lot of echo. There's a lot of background noise. We couldn't even set up a crowd mic. It was so loud during that JV game in here. It was crazy. And if this varsity contest is anything like those other two matches were, it's going to be loud and crazy in here. It is not a big gym. If you want to freeze some of your deer meat or anything like that, I have never in my life been in a gymnasium that is so cold that me being a fairly fat guy, I'm freezing to death in here. It is so cold in here. I, I think the hometown people, they, they knew about this, so they're wearing hoodies and things of that nature. Lockhart people are freezing to death in here. It is a cold gymnasium. Now, um, it's not a big gymnasium. It only seats on one side of the gym. So it's going to sound loud in here. And, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be one of those things to where if, if the noise can be a factor. The good news is Lockhart is who's dominating the gym here. There are more people here from Lockhart than there is from the McCallum High School uh, players. So our team tonight, again, QA Mitchell Padgett, McKelty Altier, senior at Lockhart High School, is our producer. Also is going to talk a little bit tonight, so she better get ready for that. Without, without having uh, Kevin, who couldn't make it tonight, she may have to speak a little bit. 
And again, I'm going to give you the play-by-play -play and making sure that you know what's going on here. I've got both rosters ready to go, but before we go any further, I'm going to go ahead and just talk about the players for the Lady Lions. We have number one, Carla Cadilla, the junior. Again, this girl is all over the place. If, if you've never seen this girl compete in a sport, it is amazing to watch her. Um, I'm sure she doesn't bet on games like Pete Rose used to in baseball, but she reminds me of Charlie Hustle because she is everywhere. And she, uh, she's just, it, it, she just impresses me. No matter whether she's playing soccer, playing volleyball, she's an entertaining person. She's worth the price of admission by herself. Number three, Calla Krenz, another junior. She's not a tall girl, but she jumps like she's about 6'2". She gets up there and she can put the ball down. She's quite a hitter. Um, she's a great soccer player. She's a great softball player. She's a great volleyball player. She does it all. I mean, she flat does it all for Lockhart. Um, pretty much, I, if I remember right, she was actually voted athlete of the year or whatever. So it doesn't surprise me because I don't know that there is a sport that she does not compete in. Kia Young. Interviewed her before the game. What a great personality. She's even a good dancer. I watched her dance during the JV game, so she was putting on a show for us with her dancing skills out there. It was fun to watch these guys because they were really getting into the, the JV game. That JV game was something else. We had lead changes. We had a, I have never seen an NFL uh, replay thing take as long as what it took during one of the mess ups and the officials were trying to figure it out. I think we sat here for about 10 to 15 minutes before they figured it out, and then we started playing volleyball again. And at that point, it was 17 to 16. Lockhart went on to win 26 to 24. But again, Kia Young, senior girl, playing all over the place, doing a little dancing, very athletic. She also is a very good hitter, and we're going to see a lot from her tonight. Number five, Abby Ruggio, a senior. She's been putting up stats in just about every possible category there is. She is in the uh, the sportsman there, the Osmond sportsman, um, where she's in almost all of the categories, as is Carla Cadillo and Callie Krenz. They're all in there in a lot of the categories. But Abby Ruggio, she's already signed her ticket to play college uh, volleyball, and, you know, she's just an amazing athlete. Not only is she a good volleyball player, but she's the goalkeeper for the soccer team, and she's very good at that, an all-district player there. Number six, Lainey Adair. She's a junior. Again, another athletic girl. These girls are so athletic, it's not even funny. Um, but Lainey, I, I watched them play, and, she, you know, again, when she was playing in the last match I was at, I was very impressed with her hustle and how she's all over the place. Then we have number seven, Brooklyn Miller. A senior. I have to say that I honestly thought between Brooklyn Miller and Abby Ruggio that I thought that Abby was wearing number seven. When I first glanced on the court, when I first showed up to that one game, I honestly thought Abby was Brooklyn, and I finally figured out, oh, wait, there's two of them. But Brooklyn Miller is another one of those, just like Abby. She's going to hit the ball hard. She's going to put points on the board. Another great athlete to have. There's five seniors on this team, and she's one of them. Number nine, Kaylee Reynolds, a junior, another one of their athletic girls, going to do a lot of things for them. She's able to make get the digs, hit, get the hits, a player that is really nice to watch. Number 10, Sydney Shaw, her sport, basketball. But when she, what she does on the volleyball court is amazing. She's very tall. She's very athletic. She shoots the ball well in basketball, and she's quite a hitter. But I think, just from what I've seen, She's really good at being at the net, blocking a lot of the shots. She is good at putting the ball back into their play when they try to hammer it down on us. So Sydney Shaw is one of those key players as a senior. Then you have number 13, the youngest girl on the team, Michaela Leva. She's a, this, she's a sophomore and, uh, again, another athletic girl. There are a tremendous amount of athletes. There's only 10 girls on the varsity, but all of them very athletic players. And then number 14, Kelsey Stevens. She's a senior. Again, another one of the players that you got to keep an eye on. Very good. Gets around the court. Does a lot of good things. And we are now getting to the point now where we might actually get to play some volleyball here. It's been a long time. Let's see, what time do I have on my clock? It's 9 o'clock, and we're getting ready to start us some volleyball. This match was supposed to start at 7.30. We are an hour and a half behind schedule tonight. 
but we're about ready to start this thing up. Again, it's about 50-50, maybe even a little more of 60-40 in favor of Lockhart fans. So we'll see how the crowd gets into the game tonight. Both he's given her last instructions to the team, and we'll we'll see what what we have here. But I think the girls are ready to solidify their number two standing. It does appear that they're going to be doing some introductions here, so we're going to kind of let the my mic pick that up because again, a crowd mic, you guys would not hear a thing that was going on. Still waiting on, on the introductions here. I'm not sure what they're waiting on over there. They got the mic in hand. They're, there we go. Now we're getting started. Girls are out on the court, and the introductions are about to take place. Now we'll have our national anthem, and then we're going to be playing some volleyball.
All right. Well, we are about ready to get this thing started. The crazy thing is this game was supposed to start at 7.30 tonight, and it is now 9.05, and we're getting ready to start playing volleyball. So I just was I just received some information from Mr. Rudy Cadillo. <laughs> so we're we're hoping for a lot of digs from his daughter tonight. He's trying to catch she's trying to catch the McCallum girl in digs this year. So it looks like we're gonna be going with uh, Shaw, Miller, Young, Cadillo. Ruggio. I think I got him. Oh, Krenz. Miss Krenz. So there we go. There's your starters for tonight. One of the players in it, her name's Grace uh, Workington. She's a freshman. It starts for, for McCallum. She's quite a tall girl. Very athletic looking as well. They, they have a very tall group of girls. So we'll see how that goes. Again, we are basically 2-0 and oh against these girls in the two times we've seen them. We beat them 3-1 to one and 3 to nothing in the two times we've played them. This for the district game, though. McCallum needs to win to get into a tie in second place with us, whereas we're trying to solidify. If we win this, we go two games up on McCallum. And <laughs> here we go. The ball is on the court. It will be served by Henderson. Again, we're in an awkward stage where we don't see the court very well, so we'll do the best we can to make sure we get everybody called. Ruggio off the serve, gets a great job there, gives it to Shaw. Shaw hits it over the net, but it was not, it did not count. They're gonna go ahead and stick it with uh, the Knights. The Knights are up one to nothing right off the opening serve. Henderson again, dug by Cadillo. Up it goes from Miller to Krenz. Krenz sits at home. And she sends it down. Nice hit by Krenz, making it one-to-one. -one. Good set there. Good dig by Cadillo. Nice set by Miller. Abby Ruggio with the serve. Her jump serve, left-handed. It falls in. It hits the net, but it falls in. Nice jump serve there by Abby Ruggio. Point number one for her. At one time during the season, she scored 16 straight serve points. Here comes that jump serve. It's going to be deep. They they play it out. Over the net it goes. A nice hit, but it goes out of bounds as Fannin goes along with her spike. It goes out of bounds, making it 3-1 to one in favor of your Lady Lions here in the match number one. Ruggio, three serve points. Another jump serve. They'll play it up. Henderson again. She sets... She sets number five, that was Boswell. It goes out of bounds. It'll stay with Lockhart. Four to one Lockhart right now. Cadillo gives her a nice little handshake there as we are up four to one. Ruggio gets ready for her jump serve. There it is. Almost pulls the ace off there. They are able to get it over the net. Ruggio with a nice set to Miller, but it is blocked. By number 10, Fannin, the junior, and they will get the point. Four to two now, Lockhart. It'll be Boswell. She is a sophomore. They're a very young team over there for McCallum. But Boswell will be serving. They're down two to four. She also with the jump serve. Cadillo can't get to it, and it goes out of bounds. So it's going to be three to four. Boswell doesn't get up in the air as high as Ruggio with her serve, but she still has a pretty impressive jump serve. The ball, is, oh my goodness, that time she got an ace. Stevens tried to dive to it, but she couldn't get there, and it's now four to four. So right now Boswell, the sophomore, has got them right back in the match. Her serve, Stevens digs it up. Ruggio sets up for Miller, and Miller hits the net. It's 5-4, McCallum on top. 
Everything looked good, just the spike went into the net. Boswell's on a roll here. She's got four straight serves. And it's long this time, so they're going to switch it out. So it'll be Callie Krenz serving it for us as we are tied at five. Reynolds has checked in. Callie Krenz jump serve. Nice serve. They go for the hit. Whoa, good job there by Krenz to dig that one up. Balls back and forth. Rosman with a heck of a hit earlier. A nice job at the net by Miller. Ruggio with the set. And Shaw with the serve. Or the spike that goes in. Oh, they're going to say it went out. Oh, they said it went out. So it'll go to the Knights. Kind of looked in from here, but we are at an awkward angle again to see the court. 6-5, McCallum on top. Here comes the serve from Wiley. She hits the net, and it falls in. She hit the net, and it just fell over the top, and it's 7-5, to five McCallum right now. Wiley, the senior libero, she's in. She serves. Nice play by Reynolds. Over to Shaw, and she spikes it into the net, and it is 8-5, McCallum. They're just a little off right now in their offense. Wiley will serve. Nice job by Reynolds. Ruggio back to Reynolds. Is hit at the, line, at the net as that was Fannin that got up there. Krenz will get the rebound. Over to Ruggio to Miller. They dig it up. Nice job there by McCallum. A back, back line hit. They're going to say it went in. Nice hit there by Boswell, the sophomore. That's 9-5. Lockhart's going to call a timeout. We'll take a real quick commercial break. You're listening to Lion Country Broadcast Network and KMX Sports through Bright Magazine. Peterson and his staff at Chisholm Trail Clinic of Chiropractic are here to serve you. We've been voted Best Chiropractor and Best Chiropractor's Office for five years running. Are you bothered by headaches, back pain, or neck pain? Call Chisholm Trail Clinic of Chiropractic at 512-668-4163 to make your appointment. Mention this ad to receive a consultation, exam, and x-rays if needed for only $20. Call 512-668-4163 and begin your journey to hope, healing, and health. Johnny & Sons Pain and Body has been Lockhart's premier collision repair and auto body shop since 1967. Certified iCar Standard, the highest ranking in the collision industry. For all your collision needs, come by and see Johnny & Sons. All right, we're back here at McCallum High School in Austin, Texas, where the Knights are up 9-5. to five. Lockhart has started off. They're just a little off on their on their timing for the spikes. They're they find themselves down nine to five. They've hit a lot into the net. Wiley with the serve again. It is stopped or started there by Reynolds. Back to Reynolds. She gets it back. Ruggio sends it long. They get it back up to the top. They're going to send for the spike. Nice dig by Cadillo. Cadillo to Ruggio to Shaw and Shaw with a great spike to the back line. That'll make it nine to six. Shaw ends it right there. Young checks in for Cadillo. Nine to six. It'll be Sidney Shaw now serving. The senior set, puts it up. Over the net it goes. McCallum gets it to Boswell. Oh, and the freshman was there. Working thin. She is tall and athletic. We tried to hit it over the net. She was there to spy, uh, block it right back down on us, so a good defensive play there by her. It is now 10-6. Cadillo checks in for Shaw. It'll be number three. Cado is up. She's a senior uh, serving it to us. Ruggio sets. Reynolds gets it home. Ruggio sets it for Reynolds, and Reynolds just hammered it home. It's now 10-7. Now we'll have Brooklyn Miller, the senior, will serve for us. She sends hers deep. They'll play it up. A nice hit. Krenz digs it up. Miller tries to get it over the Ruggio with a great job of getting a third hit over the net. And they'll play, they misplayed it. They're trying to set their girl Boswell up, and it went over her head and out of bounds. So it's 10 to 8. McCallum on top. But Lockhart is edging her way back in. Brooklyn Miller with the serve. Right in the middle it goes. Nice set. 
Nice hit, and they'll get the point. So it was Henderson who set up Smoot, the junior, and she scores it, making it 11 to eight. So we need to get the Lady Lions need to get a side out here as Martinez, the softball, will be serving. Again, McCallum, a very young team. Ruggio digs it up. Miller hits it to Ruggio. Ruggio with a nice hit. A diving save there by Wiley. Ruggio with the block at the net. Miller tries to get it. Ruggio sends it over. They're still alive here. Boswell sends it home, though. Boy, this Presley Boswell's for real. She's a good player. If she's not serving the point, she's spiking them home. It's 12 to eight McCallum. Lockhart trying to get a side out here. Brianna Martinez is gonna be serving. Kranz with it. Over to Miller. To Ruggio, she hits it home. Good job there by Ruggio. Stevens is gonna check in now for Reynolds. So Reynolds had a nice hit for herself. It will be Stevens, the senior, with the serve. 12 to nine in favor of McCallum right now. There's her serve deep in the middle. They'll play it over towards Boswell again. Nice block by Ruggio. They're gonna set it up with Miller. She goes to Kranz. Kranz tries to dink it over. Didn't quite go there, but there's a miss hit. The, fre the freshman uh, working thin, she mishit it. It went out of bounds, so it's 12 to 10, McCallum. But Lockhart edging back in again. Stevens with the serve. Almost got her an ace on that one. Here comes Boswell. Ruggio gets the block. Young gets it back into play. Oh, and then Lockhart misplays it. Miller was trying to set him up, and it went into the net. So it's 13 to 10, McCallum. They're just a little off from what I'm used to seeing them. So McCallum up top, 13 to 10. A lot of meaning to this game. Cadillo gets it. They set, Miller sets Ruggio, and Ruggio just slams it home. A nice cross-court spike. 13 to 11, McCallum on top. Carly Cadillo will be serving. There's her serve. Oh, and it hits the net. Another inch higher, and that thing would have gone over. 14-13, McCallum on top. It'll be Henderson back there to serve. Nice long hit. Cadillo gets it. Over to Miller. Miller to Ruggio. Oh, my goodness. Ruggio's on fire with the spikes tonight. Nice hit by Ruggio. This time she just went near court. And hit it home on the back line, 14 to 12, McCallum. Ruggio now with the jump serve. There it goes. Nice dig there by Wiley. Boswell, but the dig by Stevens over to Krenz. Miller sends it over the top, and somehow it found the net, or found the floor. All she did was put it over on the third hit, and it found the hole. It's now 14 to 13. The Lions are right back in this. Senior Abby Ruggio with her jump serve. Almost got an ace. And she does end up getting the point. 14-14. The Lady Lions are back in business. If it isn't Abby Ruggio spiking it, she's now serving it. There's the jump serve. Long. It goes deep. 15-14 McCallum. But so far, I would have to say that the player of the game in this match has been Abby Ruggio. She's been putting it to the to floor and with, with authority. Boswell, their sophomore, is going to be serving. The last time she served, she put up some points. There's her jump serve. Cadillo gets it. Over to Ruggio. To Miller. Miller with a nice hit. And it goes into the net for the opposite side. I want to say that was Henderson that hit it into the net. Off of Miller's uh, spike, and it was an, actually it was a good hit. 15-15, Callie Krenz is going to be serving now. Reynolds is back in the game. Oh, 
nice job there by Sydney Shaw as they tried to hit it right in the middle with Boswell on a spike and Shaw blocked it. It's 16 to 15. Callie Krenz will go with her jump serve now. She goes from the left side, hits it down the left line. They dig it up, play it across court. They'll hit it. Krenz receives it. Ruggio to Shaw, and Shaw dinks it over the net. It's now 17 to 15. The Lady Lions have found their rhythm and just in time. Great job by the ladies there. Callie Krenz still serving. There's her jump serve. She goes across court this time, and it just hits the net. 17 to 16, the Lady Lions on top. Right now, it'll be Wiley, the senior, serving for McCallum. It's been a good contest. Number two and number three teams in the district play. Reynolds to Ruggio. Ruggio to Miller. And we get another point, 18-16. So here comes Kia Young in for Carla Cadillo. Sydney Shaw will be serving. Shaw serve. They get it on the back line. They set it up. Boswell, nice play by the sophomore Boswell. <clears throat> oh, check that. That was not Boswell. That was Fannin. Fannin with the point. 17-18. Lockhart is on top, though. Looks like number three. Coddle is now serving. She's a senior. There are not a lot of seniors on this McCallum roster. Cadillo digs the serve over to Ruggio to Young, and Young sends it home. Nice serve by Ruggio. Excellent finish there by Young. 18. Oh, no, they said it went out. I'm sorry. So it's 18-18. I thought it was in. She'll serve again. Coddle. They give it over to Reynolds. Reynolds hits it home. They're going to send it up. A great block by Miller at the net. Reynolds tries to dig it, but she can't quite get to it. Wait a minute. We got we got some indiscretion. It looks like they're going to call something on them. Yeah. So the officials are going to get together. They gave us the point. We'll have to see. They're going to confer to make sure this actually happens. And in both the freshman and the JV matches, there was always there was a confusion at some point in the match to where to where uh, we had a lot of delay. But this one didn't take long. They do give the point to Lockhart. Miller will, uh, will be serving. Miller, a senior, her serves to the back. Riley, Wiley was there. Crims with a diving save. Cadillo also diving. But they're going to say it went off Lockhart and out of bounds, so it's 19-19. This is what you expect, though, when you have the number two team and the number three team playing each other. McCallum's trying to get into a tie for second. Lockhart's wanting to stay in second, put a two-game advantage on him. There's the serve. Ruggio digs it up. The freshman hits it back over. Cadillo with a nice play. Back to the freshman on the other side. Ruggio slams it home, but they still were able to dig it. That was Wiley that did it. Krenz digs the ball up. Miller with it. Over to Reynolds. Reynolds with a nice hit. They're able to save it. And then it's Boswell trying to dink it over. Ruggio with it. She gives it to, uh, to uh, Reynolds. Reynolds plays it. They got it back up. Boswell tries to spike it. Ruggio blocked it. And we get another point. So it's going to be Stevens checking in for Reynolds. Ruggio has basically been the player of the game with what she's done tonight in this first game. It will be Stevens to serve. She gets it up there. Wiley with the, with the save. Uh, oh, she mishit it. They tried to get it to Boswell, and she mishit. So it's now 21-19. Lockhart on top. Stevens with her second attempt. There's her serve, goes deep. Oh, a double hit. They got a double hit by Cottle, and it is now 23, 22 to 19 Lockhart. Timeout is called by McCallum. We're going to take a commercial real quick. You're listening to Lion Country Broadcast Network and KMX Sports through Byte Magazine. Hello, Americans. Mark Twain said, a broken promise is better than no promise at all. Well, you and I both know when we make a promise, we keep it. Chuck Nash Auto Group has been doing that for years. 
They offer up the kind of one-on-one -on -one service that will follow the taillights of your pre-owned vehicle deep into that gorgeous Texas sunset. By the way, Chuck Nash will give you $750 more for your car, buy or trade. And now you know the best of the story. All right, we're back here at McCallum High School in Austin, Texas, where the Knights are losing to your Lions 22 to 19. And I'm supposed to say to McKelty that the Sarge can hear you, and he said, good job. <laughs> 22 to 19, Stevens on her third serve. Nice serve. They, they play it up. They're giving it to Boswell. Nice job by Cadillo to get there. Oh, goodness. Good job there by Stevens. They get it over the top. And here comes the freshman. And it was in. that. Uh, her name is Grace Workington. She's a, I don't know, probably 5'9", maybe 5'10", freshman. Very athletic. Great spike on that one. With, uh, with Workington and... Um, Boswell, a freshman and a sophomore, they've got a nice future ahead of them. 22 to 20, Lockhart. It'll be Copeland, a junior serving for McCallum. Cadillo digs it up, gives it to Miller. Miller to Ruggio, and Ruggio spikes it home. 23 to 20, great job. Shaw will check in for Kia Young. Cadillo will be at the uh, service now. A chance to close it out here. Carly's serve is right to the back line. They're going to try to set up Boswell. They do. Nice dig by Cadillo. Miller gets it to Krenz. Krenz, her shot was, uh, they dug it up. And then Boswell just sent it home. You cannot set Boswell up like that. That girl is good. The sophomore, Boswell, sends it home, making it 23-21. The Lady Lions on top. Pretty exciting match. The funny thing is, though, the freshman and JV matches were louder than this. It is Henderson with the serve. She is a sophomore. They get it to Krenz. Krenz goes deep with it, and they're going to say it was in. The referee said it was in, so Krenz spike makes it 24-21. Abby Ruggio, the senior, left-handed jump server, has a chance to close this first game out. They're going to call timeout again is McCallum, so we're going to take us a real quick commercial break. You're listening to Lion Country Broadcast Network and KMAC Sports, Be Right Magazine. You can tell the pitmasters are making the magic happen every time you walk through the doors of Kreitz Market. The delicious smell of smoked meats greets your every visit. Not going to be in Lockhart for a while? Kreitz Market ships nationwide. Stop by Kreitz Market at 619 North Colorado in Lockhart or find us on the web, kreitzmarket.com. That's K-R-E-U-Z market.com. No sauce, no forks, just good taste naturally. All right, we're back here at McCallum High School. The Lady Knights and the Lady Lions going toe-to-toe -to -toe here. The number two team in the district, Lockhart, against the number three team, McCallum. If the Lions win, they will have two games above McCallum in district play. Abby Ruggio, the left-handed jump server, is going to try to end the game with this one right here. There's the serve. Here's the dig up. Krenz receives it to Ruggio. To Shaw, it doesn't go. Wait a minute. They said it did go. They said that she carried the ball. So Lockhart will win the first ma uh, match. 25-21. Nice uh, hit by Sydney Shaw off of the uh, Abby Ruggio. So it's 25-21. We're going to take a commercial break, and we'll be back shortly. You're listening to Lion Country Broadcast Network and KMX Sports through Fight Magazine. Let First Lockhart National Bank reward you with First Star Rewards Checking, where you earn on your rewards checking balance, get free ATM refunds nationwide, plus so much more. Come on by one of our locations in Lockhart, Kyle, or South Austin to visit with one of our bankers to see how you can get started earning rewards today. You can also check us out online at firstlockhart.com. All right, we're back here at McCallum High School where the Lady Knights um, drop game one to the Lockhart Lions, 25-21. Both these teams are very talented, and the one thing about McCallum is they're a very young squad. Uh, Amy Broadbeck's got a young, young squad, and two of her best hitters are actually a freshman and a sophomore, both of them very, very tall people. 
So earlier tonight, the reason why it took us an hour and a half later than the game was supposed to start is both the JV and the freshmen went to three matches and they were very exciting matches. As a matter of fact, the freshmen had to come from behind in their match in the third one to uh, win it and they won it, I believe, 26-24 in theirs. And then the JV turned around and um, dropped their first match, had to win the next two, and uh, they ended up winning their last game, 26-24. There was a really long delay in the JV contest as there was about 10 to 15 minutes that we sat here waiting to, uh, for the referees to decide what was going on on a, on a certain play. And at that point, it was 17 to 16 Lockhart. And uh, when the girls came back out, they were ready to go. And, and that's when they tried to put it away. But then McCallum fought right back in, made it 24-24. And here we went to uh, trying to get uh, everything settled and finally, Lockhart was able to pull out their 26-24 win. So both teams winning 2-1 to tonight. Very exciting, very long matches, very close matches all the way through, and that is why we had such a late start tonight. We're about one minute away from starting the match number two here. Uh, again, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to make her talk a little bit as we go through the night, uh -huh. but um, McKelty, what did you think of the first match? I think... They played really well. And who, who did you think stood out in that first one? Abby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, and, you know, Abby's, she's already signed that, that ticket to play at the next level. Um, and quite honestly, again, I, uh, during the soccer year, last year had the, the I don't even know, I, I had a great time training Abby as a goalkeeper. And honestly, I think she could have played college soccer as a goalkeeper, but she chose volleyball, which is <laughs> obvious for, for obvious reasons tonight, as she totally dominated that first match. Um, Sydney Shaw had a great defensive first game, as she had several blocks. Callie Krenz, Miss, Miss Athlete, was with a lot of digs. And then Rudy Cadillo was wanting Carla to get some, uh, some digs. Well, she got about eight of them in that game, uh, that first set. So... I, I'm thinking she's going to be catching that girl in, in digs. So we're getting ready to start the second one. It looks like they've got um, Cadillo, Ruggio. Is that Miller? Yep, Miller, Shaw, and Krenz is who we'll go with. It's going to be Abby Ruggio starting the service here in the second one. Her jump serve is, is fielded up there by Cottle. They're going to give it to Boswell. Boswell's shot is dug by Cadillo. Krenz with her hit. Oh, my goodness. Miller set up Krenz, and Krenz hammered it home. You talk about, this girl's a point guard in basketball. She's not super tall, but, man, she can jump. Nice hit by her. one nothing Lockhart. Abby Ruggio with her jump serve. They dig it up, play back in. They hit it over with their third hit. Shaw sets it up for Ruggio. Krenz again, but this time it's a nice uh, block by Henderson, the sophomore. Again, a very young squad for McCallum. These girls will be around for quite a while. Very athletic team on both sides. One to one right now. This one is going to be Henderson, the sophomore with the serve. Krenz gets the hit. Up to Ruggio, over to Shaw. Shaw gets it in there, but Henderson with a nice dig. Back over the net it goes. Ruggio sets Shaw. Shaw dinks it over. The ball's still in play. Henderson sends it back over to Cabillo. Ruggio dinks it over the net, and it's, oh, what a save. Henderson has been all over the place. She sets up Boswell, and Boswell sends it home to Sophomore. So sophomore to sophomore, Henderson to Boswell, making it two to one. McCallum, nice set there, nice finish. Henderson will set up the serve. Cadillo digs it up. Ruggio over to Shaw. Nice job there by Henderson. Henderson dove for that one and dug it up, and it went over the net and ends in play. So three to one, McCallum. Just like the first match, McCallum's jumped out early. So the sophomore, Henderson, serves it again. Cadillo digs it up. Ruggio sets it over. 
Miller sends it over the net, and it's good. Good job by Miller there. Three to two, McCallum. They're going to do some subbing. It's going to be Stevens coming out, Reynolds coming in. Reynolds had a nice spike in her first game. Krenz with the jump serve. It's Boswell with it. Over to Henderson, back to Boswell. Nice block, but it falls out. Reynolds with a good block, but it went out of bounds, so it's now 4-2 to two McCallum. Boswell will be serving still. J jump served by Boswell. Ka Padilla couldn't get to it. So ace there, five to two. And you know, I'm just eyeballing this, but Boswell, the sophomore, is just about almost as tall as I am. I stand at six foot. She's got to be easily 5'10", 5 5'11". 5 Well, you're going to have to get a new volleyball because uh, the volleyball went into someone's nachos and now has cheese all over it. <laughs> I don't know that I've ever seen that before in a volleyball match. They do have good nachos here, though. I can attest to that. So 5-2 to two right now. McCallum on top. We have to get a new ball because of the nacho cheese all over the old other ball. So we have us a ball that does not have nacho cheese on it. Boswell with a jump serve to Cadillo. Nice dig. Shaw gets it over to Krenz. Krenz puts it over the net. Henderson tries to get it to Rosman, but they're going to say four hits. So the ball is going to go over to Lockhart. It's 5-3 to three McCallum. Cadillo checks out. Young checks in. Give another shout out to the Sarge. See how he's doing. Boswell with a nice dig, or dig to Henderson. They get it over the net. Ruggio will set up Young. Young's uh, hit got blocked. Over it goes Henderson with hers. They give it um, to Reynolds. Her hit is, my goodness, this is back and forth. The girls are all over the place. Young hits it in. And what a play by Young. Ruggio with a nice set. Young running across her body, spiked it back across the court and right into play. So it's five to four now. Shaw serving again. Job there by Wiley. Over to Henderson. Nice hit there by Smoot. And it goes out of play. So it will go in favor of McCallum. Number 16, Grace Workington. She is a freshman, another one of those solid players. And Rosman just stepped off the court, and she's almost as tall as I am. They have a tall team over here, McCallum. Wiley with the serve. Kadir picks it up, gets it over to uh, Ruggio, to Young. Now it's back on the other side. A good job there by Smoot, and they're up 6-4 to four as Smoot hammers it home. 7-4. to four. Lindsay Wiley, the senior, will be serving again. She short serves that one. Good job there by number nine, Reynolds. Young hits it over the top. Henderson sets up number 10, and that is Fannin. Fannin tried to get a dink over, and it was um, Reynolds that tried to block it, and it went out of bounds. So Lockhart's going to call timeout as they find themselves down 8-4. to four. We're going to take a real quick commercial break. You're listening to Lion Country Broadcast Network and KMAX Sports through Fight Magazine. For over 15 years, Rain and Drywall and Paint has been serving Lockhart and the surrounding counties. We are experienced in all phases of construction. You can count on us for any exterior or interior painting job. Call 512-925-0634 to schedule an appointment with Rain and Drywall and Paint today. All right, we're back here at McCallum High School in Austin, Texas. The Lady Knights are on top of your Lady Lions, 8-4 to four right now. Again, the one thing that... Uh, that Coach Amy Broadbeck has at her disposal is the fact that 
She's not graduating. I'm looking at this roster, and they have two, two seniors. There are two seniors on this roster. The majority of their stars so far in this match tonight have been freshmen and sophomores. So a, a bright future here for McCallum. They're the number three team in the district. Lockhart, the number two team in the district. And there's Wiley with her serve. Good job there by Miller. She hits it over. It goes just long. Oh, wait a minute. They said that the ball was tipped. It looked long. Broad, Coach Broadbeck's questioning it. They said there was a tip. And now they're calling the lines girl over. The ball appeared to go out of bounds. They said somebody tipped it. They give Lockhart the point. Eight to five. McCallum still on top. Miller with her serve. Oh, miss hit there. But she's able to get it back over the top is Smoot. They set up Krenz. Krenz will spike it in again. It appeared to go long, but it was off the hands of McCallum, so it's now eight to six. Krenz with a great hit on that one. It's eight to six, Miller's serve. And it's an ace! What a serve by Miller. It's now eight to seven, and just like the last match, Lockhart find them, found themselves down in, a, in kind of in a hole, and they've kind of got their way back in here. Eight to seven, Miller serve again. They're gonna give it to the freshman who gives it to Smoot. Kranz digs it up over to Ruggio and she goes long with it. So it'll be a side out, nine to seven. McCallum on top. This has been a really nice match to watch thus far as both teams battling it out here. It looks like number three, Cottle, will be the one serving. She's one of the two seniors on this team. Krenz digs it up, gives it to Miller. Miller hits it over to Reynolds. Reynolds over the top. Henderson to Smoot. Nice block there by Young. Krenz digs it up over to Miller. Over to Reynolds. She miss hits it, and it will go in favor of McCallum. 10-7, McCallum on top. Clary Cottle is at the, the service right now. Deep serve. And it is, it is in. It is in. I thought it was close. She serves the ace. It just fell inside the line. It's now 11-7, McCallum. McCallum goes from really short to very tall. They, they are a well-balanced team. Nice serve again. Another great serve by Cottle as it's now 12-7, in favor of McCallum. I don't think we're going to be looking at any three to nothing match here. We may be looking at all five games being played tonight. There it goes again. Another ace. Cottle is on fire. The senior setter has served four straight right now. Two of them aces. 13 to 7. There she goes again. Reynolds with it. Over to Miller. Miller to Young. And it goes out of bounds. Good job. Young was able to get it there. Henderson was trying to make the save, but it went out of bounds, making it 13 to 8. McCallum. And it will be Kelsey Stevens, the senior, serving for Lockhart. Nice serve. Good job there by Wiley. Boswell gets a nice hit, but Cadillo digs it up. Krenz with it. Over the net, it goes to Wiley. Boswell again, Young with the block. Young gets up to hit it over again. It's back and forth. Smoot with it over the net. Good dig there by Stevens. They're going to hit it over with Krenz. Oh, my goodness. Henderson dinked it over the top. We weren't ready. She found a hole in the spot. It's now 14 to 8. And right now, we're going to have to figure something out because McCallum's starting to run away with this one. Martinez, the sophomore, yet another sophomore playing for this team. Martinez serving. There she is. Stevens with the dig. 
And a good job there by Miller to dink it over the top, making it 14 to nine. So it was a good job by Stevens to dig it up and Miller just dinked it over the net and, and it fell. Cadillo will be serving for us. Her serves over the net. Henderson gets it. Wiley, back to Henderson. Stevens gets it. Over to Miller. Krenz is long with a hit. Actually, that was not Henderson. That was Cotto that was getting all those digs there for him. And a timeout is called. It is 15 to 9. We're going to take a quick break. You're listening to Lion Country Broadcast Network and KMAX Sports with Bite Magazine. Dr. Peterson and his staff at Chisholm Trail Clinic of Chiropractic are here to serve you. We've been voted Best Chiropractor and Best Chiropractor's Office for five years running. Are you bothered by headaches, back pain, or neck pain? Call Chisholm Trail Clinic of Chiropractic at 512-668-4163 to make your appointment. Mention this ad to receive a consultation, exam, and x-rays if needed for only $20. Call 512-668-4163 and begin your journey to hope, healing, and health. We're back here at McCallum High School. I had to take a quick drink because it went from being freezing cold to getting dry in here all of a sudden. 15 to 9, McCallum on top. I am amazed at how tall some of these McCallum girls are because I'm literally right by their bench right now, and most of them, when they stand up, they look like they're my height. Number six, Janelle Copeland will be a junior serving. Ruggio gets it up, over to Miller, back to Ruggio. Oh, they tried to block it there, it was Boswell, but it went off her hands and out of bounds, and that makes it 15 to 10. So a nice finish there by Ruggio. She was probably the MVP of the first match. She's now serving. Lockhart down by five. Her jump serve, good job there by Martinez. They give it over to Boswell. Nice job by Cadillo to dig it up. Over to Ruggio. Krenz tried to hit it over, and it went out of bounds as they blocked it. It looked like that was number seven. That is Rosman who tried to block it, but it went out of bounds. 15-11, Abby Ruggio serving again. Nice job, a good dig there. Good block by Shaw in the middle of the net. Oh, and Boswell sends it home. Shaw got the block, but then Boswell was set by uh, by um, Henderson, and she ends up sitting at home. It's now 16 to 11. McCallum on top. Sophia Henderson, the sophomore setter, is now serving. Krenz gets it over to Ruggio. Down it goes to Shaw. Great hit by Shaw. Ruggio to Shaw. So it is now 16 to 12 as it will be Reynolds checking in for Stevens. Callie Krenz to serve down four. Jump serves in there. Martinez digs it up over to Henderson. Boswell tries to get it, but Miller blocks it. Now that was, that was not Boswell, I apologize, that was Fannin. Boswell just hit it in, and uh, it's now 17 to 12. 17 to 12. So it'll go to Boswell. Presley Boswell, the sophomore, will be serving. Brianna Martinez has played well for McCallum tonight. Oh, what a serve. Boswell with a great serve. An ace for her, and it's now 18-12 McCallum. I have a feeling this is going to be a long night of volleyball because these two teams are going at each other. Shaw with, this, with the rebound on that. They give it to um, Reynolds. Reynolds sends it home. Great job by Reynolds off the Miller pass. 18-13, Lockhart is down. Young's back into the match. And it will be number 10, Sidney Shaw serving. Good job there by Wiley. Henderson sets it up. Good, good dig by Krenz. Reynolds with a nice hit. Young's there, and it went out of bounds. So Young hit it. They tried to block it, and it went out of bounds. It'll go to Lockhart. <laughs> I 
it kind of this has been a weird match because the JV game, the freshman game, it was loud and crazy in here. It's almost like everybody's half asleep right now. 18 to 14. Wiley with it over to Henderson. She gives it to Smoot. Smoot, uh, Chris digs it up over to Reynolds. Reynolds over the net. Henderson. She got it over there to Fannin. Fannin hit it home, but we sent it right back. This has been a fast back and forth match. Young with it, and they die for it. They s oh, what a play by Wiley. Krenz gets it back up over to Ruggio. She dinks it home, and there's Wiley again. Krenz with it to Ruggio. Ruggio to Miller, and it's in there. Ruggio sets Miller on a back set, and Miller dinks it in the hole. 18-15, now Lockhart is back in the match. It looked like at one point it was 18-12. to 12. It's now 18-15. Sydney Shaw, the senior, will be serving at home. There it goes. Wiley having a great game. She gives it up there to Fannin. Over the top it goes. Krenz tries to save it to Shaw. Krenz, but that's not going to happen. They tried, but to no prevail. It's 19-15, McCallum. Wiley, Lindsey Wiley, the senior, one of two seniors on this team, will be serving. And the two seniors, they're not losing any height, that's for sure. They're both setters. Ruggio sets up Young. Young couldn't get it to go. Wiley's there. Fannin tries to get it. Young blocks it, and it goes the way of Lockhart. So it's 19-16 McCallum. Lockhart's not going away, though. It's going to be Brooklyn Miller, the senior, who's going to be serving. Nice dig there by number five. That is Boswell. Miller with it to Ruggio to Young. They block it. Young back over the top. Henderson to Smoot. Krenz digs it up. Miller to it. Ruggio hits his block there by number 16. That was... Oh, good job by Lockhart, but that was a nice block there by Workington, the freshman. Young was able to block their, their uh, spike, so it's now 19-17. to 17. Lockhart's only down two. Miller serve. Good dig there by Boswell to Henderson. A dink in there by uh, Fannin. Ruggio, it's blocked, but it, it goes that. Oh, it did go our way. So for a minute there, I thought they were calling the against us. It's 19 to 18, McCallum. McCallum calls a timeout. We're going to take a timeout. You're listening to Lion Country Broadcast Network and KMAC Sports through Bright Magazine. Let First Lockhart National Bank reward you with First Star Rewards Checking, where you earn on your rewards checking balance, get free ATM refunds nationwide, plus so much more. Come on by one of our locations in Lockhart, Kyle, or South Austin to visit with one of our bankers to see how you can get started earning rewards today. You can also check us out online at firstlockhart.com. All right, we're back here at McCallum High School in Austin, Texas, where it is 19-18. McCallum is on top. Been a great second match. Both teams going at it. At one point, it was 18-12 McCallum, but Lockhart has battled their way back into it. It's now 19-18. As I said before, Amy Broadbeck, she has got a young squad. This team is going to be something to watch out for in the future. A lot of sophomores, a lot of freshmen on this team can play, and they play well. Miller will serve. Nice job there by Smoot. They'll get it back to her. Cadillo gets it. They get over to Reynolds. Reynolds. Reynolds was able to hit it over the net. They tried to get a block. That was working thin. that tried to get to it. It fell right in front of her. It was 19-19 now. And just like that, Lockhart is back in this thing. Miller again. Good dig there by Boswell. Henderson. Oh, nice block by Ruggio, and they're going to get it over the net. A lot of bodies flying everywhere. Job by Young. What a good job at the set, too. Smoot with it. Dig, dug there by Reynolds over to Ruggio. Ruggio slams it home. Reynolds kept that one alive. Ruggio finishes it off. What a nice set of play. It is 20 to 19 Lockhart. At one point, they were down 18 to 12. Miller with another serve. Henderson with it. Over to Boswell. Krenz with the dig. Over to Miller. To Reynolds. Wiley with it. They give it back to Wiley. She's, oh, what a hit in the back line. 
Wiley spikes that from the back line and buries it. It's 20 to 20. This is some exciting volleyball here tonight. It will be number three, the girl who scored all their points early on, Clary Cottle, the senior. And she hits the net, so that's huge for Lockhart. I think she served up about five points the first time she served. 21-20 Lockhart. Kelsey Stevens will be serving. There's senior Stevens serve is in. Wiley digs it up over to Henderson. Over to Boswell. Dug by Cadillo. Ruggio. Over to, oh, goodness. <laughs> Young tried to uh, spike it home and hit the net. Came right back at her. So it's going back to McCallum. It's 21-21. And it looks like number nine, Brandon Martinez, yet another sophomore, will be serving for McCallum. There's her serve. Young, Miller to Krenz, over to Henderson, to Wiley, to Boswell, blocked by Young. Young gets it back, over it goes. They're gonna set the freshman, she hits it over, but we were able to play it, but they're gonna save two hits by Lockhart, making it 22-21 McCallum. Workington was the one that got that one in there for him. 22-21, McCallum on top. Martinez serve is on the way. Nice dig there. Oh, they have a double hit again. Lockhart's kind of, the wheels are falling off here. It's 23-21. Couple double hits in a row. Martinez serving well so far. Need to get a stop here though. Nice job there by Stevens. Over to Krenz. Nice job by Wiley Henderson to Stevens. And the freshman working thin spikes it home, making it 24 to 21. McCallum in driver's seat right now. Martinez trying to finish match two up. Nice job of service by Martinez. There's her serve, Young to Cadillo. Cadillo to Krenz. Wiley with it, over to Henderson. Boswell, Young with the save, and that's all she wrote. Boswell sends it home, 25-21. We're at one, one match apiece here. We're gonna take a quick timeout, but we are all tied up here at uh, McCallum High, um, High School. You're listening to the Lion Country Broadcast Network and KMAX Sports through Bright Magazine. You can tell the pitmasters are making the magic happen every time you walk through the doors of Kreitz Market. The delicious smell of smoked meats greets your every visit. Not going to be in Lockhart for a while? Kreitz Market ships nationwide. Stop by Kreitz Market at 619 North Colorado in Lockhart or find us on the web, kreitzmarket.com. That's K-R-E-U-Z market.com. No sauce. No forks, just good taste, naturally. Hello, Americans. Mark Twain said, a broken promise is better than no promise at all. Well, you and I both know when we make a promise, we keep it. Chuck Nash Auto Group has been doing that for years. They offer up the kind of one-on-one -on -one service that will follow the taillights of your pre-owned vehicle deep into that gorgeous Texas sunset. By the way, Chuck Nash will give you $750 more for your car, buy or trade. And now you know the best of the story. All right, we're back here at McCallum High School where the Lady Knights take uh, game two of the uh, this, uh, match here. It, it's, it's been an exciting game, both of them. I mean, we were behind in both. We battled back in both. But McCallum was not going to have us taking game two there as they, they finished us out. Again, this McCallum team, very young, very tall, very athletic. We are also athletic, but we're that second game, we just kind of the wheels fell off there towards the end. So, again, coming into the match, McCallum was 17-16 and 16 overall. They're 6-2 and two in district play. They're in third place. Lockhart is 23-9 and nine overall, 7-1 and one in district play. They're in second place. If Lockhart can get the win, not only do they – Kind of, they put a two-game advantage over McCallum for the, you know, the number two spot, 
but they also solidify and, and clinch the playoffs. I, 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 again, I looked at worst case scenario, what would happen if we don't win another uh, match this year, and um, and even if we win tonight, there, there's no way we don't make the playoffs. McKelty, what do you think? I think they're doing good. <laughs> I think that they just have to keep it solid. Once they start getting ahead, they can't let it fall behind again. Yeah, they. you know, and when, when, when we got on a roll, I mean, <laughs> when we're on a roll, we're hard to stop. But uh, the second match, we were down 18 to 12, and we were able to battle back and actually take the lead at one point. And then it just kind of fell apart from there, and they, they went on to beat us 25-21. Going to give a shout-out to our QA, Mitchell Padgett. Thank you, Mitchell, for what you do. We really appreciate it, uh, especially when this game was supposed to start at 7.30, and it's now 10 o'clock. <laughs> so we, again, we're, we're here in McCallum, and like I said before, if you need any deer meat or any kind of meat frozen, uh, bring it to the gym here because you will definitely get that. This is the coldest gym I think I've ever been in in my life. So we're getting ready to start the third one. One to one is where we stand right now. And I'm trying to see who has the ball for service over there. It is going to be the sophomore, Sophia Henderson. She is a fire plug. She's like Kadia. Kadia and her are almost mirror images of each other. Uh, they set up Ruggio. Holy mackerel. They didn't waste any time. Miller with a great set to Ruggio. And Ruggio said hello with a nice finish, making it one to nothing. Ruggio will start us off with her jump serve. There it goes. Over to Henderson to Boswell. Ruggio with a nice dig. Up it goes to Shaw. She sends it over. A great job there by number nine, Martinez. And then they send it home with their own variety. And I got to find out who it was. That was number 10, Fannin, the junior, as she sent home, making it one-to-one. -one. So far, when Lockhart wins, they're sitting right beside us. So let's see who's serving for them. That's going to be number five, Boswell, the sophomore. She hits it right into the net. So two to one Lockhart. Reynolds is checking in for Stevens. Krenz will be the one serving now. There's Callie Krenz with her jump serve. Nice serve. They dig it up. Henderson gets it. Smoot, but Krenz digs it. Cadillo, it's gonna go to Ruggio. She sends it over the net. Wiley with it. Henderson gets it. Smoot, but it goes long. So it's three to one Lockhart. This is something Lockhart's not used to tonight. They're actually up early in the match. Usually they have to battle from behind. Krenz jump serve. Wiley with a diving save. <coughs> Boswell tried to get over, or not Boswell, that was Fannin that tried to get the hit over the net. She mishit it. So it's now four to one, the Lady Lions. Krenz with the serve. Wiley with it, over to Henderson. To Smoot, Krenz gets it, but it's going to go long. So it went off Krenz. That's going to go four to two. The Lady Lions on top, but they do get a side out from McCallum. So it'll be Lindsay Lindsay Wiley, the senior, one of two seniors that will be serving, and she hits it into the net. It's five to two. So that's two servers in a row that have hit it straight in the net. Cadillo checks out. Young checks in. Shaw, who served up a lot of points in that second match, she'll be serving. Sydney's serve is a nice one. Boswell gets it. Over to Smoot. Shaw digs it. Crit. Oh, goodness. The two girls ran into each other. The ball hit the ceiling, and uh, Krenz and Shaw ran into each other. Or not Krenz and Shaw, but Ruggio and Shaw ran into each other. It's now 5-3 to three. Lockhart. It's a very low ceiling, and the ball just kind of ping-ponged around up there in the ceiling. So it'll be uh, Clary Cottle. She's serving. She served a lot of points in that last match. Not Miller, or not Miller. Uh, yes, it was. No, Reynolds with a nice hit. It goes long off the smooth spike. 
Reynolds had a nice play there. Wiley dug it up. Smoot went long with it after that, making it 6-3 to three Lockhart. And it'll be Miller serving. Over it goes. Dig by Wiley. Smoot with it again. Young with the block. Wiley to Boswell. And out of bounds it goes. 7-3 to three Lady Lions. So, again, something the Lady Lions aren't used to tonight. They are leading early in the match. They have been behind all night long. Well, one game apiece. Miller with the serve. And they're going to say, uh, uh, they were saying they're out of, the girls were not in the right rotation over there for McCallum. And so it's now 7-3, to three, Lady Lions. Coach Amy Broadbeck is trying to argue this, the situation. We're going to see what happens here. Hang on. So this is very similar to the JV match where they said the rotation was wrong and it took almost 10 to 15 minutes for them to decide that out. They're going to replay it. So they took the point off the board from Lockhart. They will replay it. And now Coach Bothy not too happy about that. So 7-3. Middle with the serve. Henderson to Wiley. Miller, Young, Young gets it over. Henderson, the freshman gets it up and over. Miller to Reynolds, and it goes long. So it's seven to four, Lady Lions. Reynolds' hit was just a little too long. It will be number nine, and that is Brianna Martinez, the sophomore. She scored up the ending of the game last time. Miller over to Cadillo. They get it over to Henderson. To Boswell. Nice block by Ruggio. Ruggio with the block off Smoots or off Boswell's spike. And it's now 8-4. The Lady Lions are on top. Reynolds checks out. Stevens checks in and she'll serve. Here's her serve. Henderson. They get it to the freshman. Krenz gets it. Up to Miller. She tries to find the hole, doesn't find it. Over to Boswell. Boswell didn't mess around that time. Henderson set up Boswell. Boswell sent it home. It's now 8-5. to five. Lady Lions on top. Workington has had a nice game for him, the freshman. It'll be Copeland, the junior, serving. Stevens got it to Kranz. Kranz sends it home. And just like that, it's 9-5. to five. So Stevens to Kranz. Kranz puts it home. Henderson checks out. Shaw checks in. Cadillo will be serving. It's 9-5, to five, Lady Lions. There's her serve. They get it over to... Number seven, Rosman. Oh, two girls running into each other. Shaw with the block. Oh, goodness. Boswell was going to try to send it home, and Shaw blocks it straight down, making it 10 to 5. Lady Lions on top. Kadia will continue her service. Good job there as the ball goes to Cottle. To Anderson, to Boswell. Shaw blocks it again. We're trying to save our computer and everything else over here. Boswell's hit went home. It's 10 to 6, Lady Lions. Sophia Henderson, the sophomore, will be serving for McCallum. Stevens with it. Over to Miller, to Krenz. They tried to block it, couldn't get it. Wiley to Boswell. Cadillo digs it up. Over to Cadillo, oh, over to Krenz and to Miller. She hits it over. Back and forth we go, and a great job. Oh, my gosh, Sydney Shaw has been a beast up front. She gets yet another block. As Boswell, or not Boswell, it was Fannin that tried to spike it. Shaw gets the block. It's 11-6, Lady Lions. Ruggio with the jump serve. Wiley gets it. They're going to send it over there again to number seven, Rosman. They were able to hit it off Miller's hands, and it's a point. 
for McCallum. 11 to seven now. Lady Lions on top. This is the third game of the, of the match. It's one to one right now with the Lady Lions on top, 11 to seven in the, in the third one. Boswell with the serve, Cadillo picks it up. Over to Ruggio, to Shaw, it's blocked. It was blocked there by Rosman, so the point goes to McCallum. It's 11 to eight. Boswell will be serving the sophomore. Last time she hit it into the net. Good job there by Stevens. Ruggio to Kranz. A nice job there as it was number seven, Rosman trying to block it. Krenz hit it way too hard and it goes straight to the floor. So Krenz wins this uh, the, with the hit. Now she's going to serve. 12-8, Lady Lions. Krenz sends it. Henderson with it. Good job there by the Lady Lions to retrieve it. Oh, Reynolds hits it into the net. Makes it 12-9. She's not happy with herself. Cadillo calming her down. She was not happy with herself, but Carly went over there and told her not to worry about it. Wiley's going to serve it. Reynolds to Ruggio to Miller. Oh, nice job by Henderson. And they're going to say that she double hit it? I'm guessing it called it. Oh, they're under the net. Said she went under the net. So it's 13 to 9. Cadillo checks out. Here, uh, Young checks in. Shaw's going to serve. Ooh, barely got over the net. Here comes Smoot. Good job by Shaw. Ruggio with it to Reynolds. A nice block. Oh, they're going to say the freshman working thin was in the net. 14-9, Lady Lions on top. Shaw will be serving. Senior, Sidney Shaw. Long serve, and it went out. 14 to 10, Lady Lions on top. Shaw checks out, Cadillo checks in. It looks like number three, Clary Cottle, the senior, will be back to serve. She had a nice game last game with her service. Cadillo gets it over to, oh, nice job by Ruggio. Didn't catch him off guard, though. Over it went by Smoot. And it went out of bounds. Smoot was trying to do the same thing Ruggio did, but she knocked it out of bounds. 15 to 10, the Lady Lions are on top. Service will now go to Brooklyn Miller. Miller serve. Up, up it goes. Cottle with it. Over to Henderson to Smoot. Cadillo with the dig. Over to Ruggio. Reynolds. And Reynolds gets it to go home. So Cadillo with the dig. Ruggio with the set, and Reynolds with the finish. We'll take a commercial break at 16 to 10, the Lady Lions. You're listening to Lion Country Broadcast Network and KMAX Sports through Vibe Magazine. Let First Lockhart National Bank reward you with First Star Rewards Checking, where you earn on your rewards checking balance, get free ATM refunds nationwide, plus so much more. Come on by one of our locations in Lockhart, Kyle, or South Austin to visit with one of our bankers to see how you can get started earning rewards today. You can also check us out online at First Lockhart. Com. All right, we're back here at McCallum High School where I guess I'm getting a, uh, a taste of what it used to be like in Kansas about this time of the year uh, when it was 40 degrees outside in October because that's, I think, what the temperature here is in this gymnasium as I'm starting to shiver. 16 to 10, the Lady Lions are on top. We are tied one to one in the matches thus far. And it is Miller serving. So Brooklyn, the senior, is going to serve it up. And almost got an ace out of that thing. Wiley got it up. They give it over to Boswell. Cadillo with the dig over to Ruggio. Uh, I'm sorry, over to Miller. Ruggio hits it home. Boswell again, but Young blocks it. Boswell tried to spike it from the back line. Young was there to block it. 17 to 10. The Lady Lions are on top. Miller got to keep this train rolling. Good job by Cottle. Over to Henderson. They go to the freshman. Oh, they mishit it. Lockhart's up 18 to 10 right now. And this time, the wheels are falling off over McCallum. Brooklyn Miller's done a good job serving. Wiley gets it over to Henderson to Smoot. 
Good job there by uh, Miller. They got it over again. They're Krenz digs it up over there. Miller tries to dink it in. And a great job there by number seven, Shaney Rosman, the junior. Dinks it over our entire line and drops right in before the out-of-bounds line, making it 18-11 Lockhart right now. And it's going to be number nine, Brianna Martinez, the sophomore, serving. McCallum, very young, but very athletic and very tall. Ruggio gets the serve over to Miller to Young. Cadillo gets it back to Miller. Over it goes by Ruggio. Oh, they're going to say that she double hit it. 18 to 12. Lockhart still on top. Brianna Martinez, the sophomore, will get her second chance at the service here. There it goes. Krenz over to Miller to Ruggio. Wiley gets it. To Henderson, to Boswell, Krenz digs it up. Young with a nice hit. Over to Krenz, to Miller, to Reynolds, and Reynolds gets it home. What a play by Reynolds as she's right-handed, but it went across her body, so she had to slap at it, and she, she was able to get enough of it to make it 19 to 12 for the Lady Lions. Stevens will be serving. Good job there. Cottle couldn't get up with it. My goodness, Henderson. Henderson did a fantastic job, but they're giving it. Oh, my goodness. They're giving that one to us. We'll take it. Coach is not happy. Broadbeck, she is not happy with that call. Henderson, go for it. It looked like she got it in play, but they're going to say it went out of bounds. 20 to 12. Stevens with the serve. Henderson over to Boswell. A referee is called, they're saying a miss hit or a bad hit by Lockhart. Again, trying to read what they're calling. I'm not seeing their calls. But anyways, 20 to 13 is the score now. Janelle Copeland, the junior, will be serving for McCallum. Stevens with it. Oh, and it falls in as two people looked at each other and it just fell in between them. It's 20 to 14 right now. McCallum making a run at us. So Copeland, the junior, with her second serve. Stevens mishits it, and it goes out of bounds. 20 to 15. Reynolds will check in for Stevens. It's 20 to 15 Lockhart. They had a pretty big lead. Now the, the lead has shrunk a little bit as Copeland will serve again. Krenz with it. Over to Miller. Back to Krenz. A nice block at the net. Young with it over the net. Henderson to Boswell, gives it to Miller, to Ruggio, Ruggio to Young, Henderson with it. Over to Boswell, oh, almost missed hit that one. Krenz tries to go over the top, and does! Wow, Krenz with a nice play there, it's 21 to 15. I wasn't sure if Krenz was gonna pull that one off, but she did. Again, I bet she's not 5'4", but she plays like she's 6'2". Carla Cadillo with the serve. Almost got an ace out of that one. <coughs> Krenz with it. Good job there by Cottle. Over to Boswell. And it, oh, it goes off the arm of Reynolds and out of bounds. 21-16, Lockhart on top. Lockhart trying to get this thing closed down. And it'll sit uh, Sophia Henderson, the sophomore back there. This girl is quite an athlete. Cadillo hits it up over to Miller to, Cren or to Ruggio. Ruggio again, and Ruggio on the rebound sends it home 22 to 16. Nice play by Abby Ruggio. It's funny to watch Sophia Henderson, the sophomore for McCallum, and Carla Cadillo, our junior, because they are mirror images of how each other plays. Wiley with the dig over to Henderson to Boswell. Ruggio gets it. Over to Miller. Ruggio again. Oh, nice dig there by number nine, uh, Martinez. It was sent over by Rosman. Over to Ruggio to Krenz. She dinks it home. And it's a great dink there by Krenz. 
Good job, 23 to 16. Timeout is called by McCallum. 23 to 16 Lockhart. We're gonna take a commercial break. You're listening to Lion Country Broadcast Network and KMAX Sports through Bite Magazine. For over 15 years, Rain and Drywall and Paint has been serving Lockhart and the surrounding counties. We are experienced in all phases of construction. You can count on us for any exterior or interior painting job. Call 512-925-0634 to schedule an appointment with Rain and Drywall and Paint today. All right, we're back here at McCallum High School in Austin, Texas. It has been a crazy three games in this. First one went to Lockhart, second one went to McCallum, and now the third one, Lockhart's knocking on the door to taking this one. 23 to 16. Rudy Cadillo is out there probably winning all kinds of trophies where he's at. I'm sure the temperature's warmer there than it is in this building. Um, it's just been crazy. The play from both teams, both teams are very athletic. We're actually shorter than they are. But yet we're, we're on top. So we're trying to put a two-game advantage in between us and McCallum. Abby Ruggio's jump serve goes right into the nets, 23-17. to 17. That's how huge this match or this, these games are because if we beat McCallum, we're two games up on them. And we'll pretty much, unless the wheels fall off, we'll secure the second spot there. Here comes Boswell's serve. Cadillo gets it. Over to Ruggio, uh, Shaw dinks it over. They get it back up. Wiley with it. They get the ball to Fannin. Ruggio has it to Shaw. Shaw sends it home. They tried to get a block there from Rosman, but Shaw's hit was too hard. It goes right back into the net. 24 to 17 Lockhart. Callie Krenz is gonna try to finish this game off here with her jump serve. There it is. Wiley with it. Over to Henderson, to Bosman. Uh, Boswell, I'm sorry. It goes out, and your Lady Lions will win game three, 25 to 17. They're now up two to one. We're going to take a commercial break here. You're, you're listening to Lion Country Broadcast Network, KMAX Sports, the Vite Magazine. Chisholm Trail Barbecue features slow-cooked brisket, hot sausage, beef, and pork ribs done the right way. In a town famous for barbecue, Chisholm Trail is where the locals come to eat. Visit Chisholm Trail Barbecue, 1323 South Colorado in Lockhart, and come by after the game. Chisholm Trail Barbecue stays open until midnight after every home football game. Dr. Peterson and his staff at Chisholm Trail Clinic of Chiropractic are here to serve you. We've been voted best chiropractor and best chiropractor's office for five years running. Are you bothered by headaches, back pain, or neck pain? Call Chisholm Trail Clinic of Chiropractic at 512-668-4163 to make your appointment. Mention this ad to receive a consultation, exam, and x-rays if needed for only $20. Call 512-668-4163 and begin your journey to hope, healing, and health. Let First Lockhart National Bank reward you with First Star Rewards Checking, where you earn on your rewards checking balance, get free ATM refunds nationwide, plus so much more. Come on by one of our locations in Lockhart, Kyle, or South Austin to visit with one of our bankers to see how you can get started earning rewards today. You can also check us out online at firstlockhart.com. All right, we're back here at McCallum High School where the Lady Lions just took the third game of the, the match tonight. Um, it's been back and forth. The first two games, um, McCallum held the lead early on, and we had to battle our way back in. We battled our way back in the first game, and we won it. In the second, um, we got ourselves from being six down, and ended up, the wheels ended up falling off as we caught up, took the lead, and then they finished us off. And this third match, though, our third game of the match, it, it was all Lockhart. The, it, at no point was it ever in doubt in that one. So Lockhart runs away with game three. It's 2-1 to one right now. If Lockhart can get this game, it's over. It'll be a 3-1 uh, on, the, on the end here. And it'll put us two games ahead of um, McCallum. McCallum is a, such a young team. They've got two seniors. Both those seniors are all over the place. They're very athletic. They're very good. One of them's really good at serving. But the sophomores for uh, McCallum have been amazing tonight. They also have a freshman who's got to be pushing 5'10", 5'11". She's very athletic as well. So um, Coach Amy Broadbeck, she's got a bright future ahead of her with this team. 
because they only have two seniors and these underclassmen have played well. You, I think to go to school here at McCallum, you either have to be really tall, and if you're not really tall, you have to be really athletic to go to school here. So we're getting ready to start the fourth game of the night. I really wish I would have brought my parka. It's a little chilly in here. And it looks like Abby Ruggio, the senior, will be starting us off with her jump serve. There it goes. Martinez gets it over there to Rosman. Rosman puts it over to Ruggio. Ruggio to Krenz. Boswell gets it up in the air. It's over to Cottle. Over to Henderson. Cadillo to Krenz. To Shaw. And it falls in. Shaw with a nice athletic play. Great job there by Lockhart as they go up 1-0. Abby Ruggio, the senior, will serve again. It's long, out of bounds it goes, one to one. Abby Ruggio plays a lot of volleyball. If she's not playing soccer, she's playing volleyball. She plays a lot of it. The sophomore, Henderson, will set him up. Ruggio gets it over to Miller. And they're going to say it went on uh, uh, four hits. So they're going to get two to one McCallum. Henderson will serve again. Very athletic player in Henderson. They'll give it to Krenz. Krenz to Ruggio. Ruggio to Shaw. Nice dig in the back. Ruggio gets it. Cadillo over to Krenz. Wiley with it to Henderson. Oh, Rosman tried to put it over, but Shaw blocked it. Boswell. Cadillo digs it up. Over to Ruggio. Krenz. Uh-oh. They got it in. Krenz is hit. They got it in. Wow, that's two to two. So this game was supposed to start at 7.30. It's now 10.30, and we're still playing volleyball. Callie Krenz will serve her jump serve with a two to two score. Wiley can't dig it up. Oh, she does dig it up. It gets over. Henderson with a great job there. They go to Miller. Miller spikes it home. It's now 3-2, to two, the Lady Lions. Both teams diving and sacrificing everything. They both want this badly. Callie Krenz will serve again. Job there by Martinez. They go to Boswell, but it goes out of bounds. Boswell tried to dink it over, and it went out of bounds. Boswell does not make many mistakes as a sophomore. Four to two, Lady Lions. Callie Krenz with the serve. Martinez over to Henderson. Nice job there by Rosman. Rosman hit that one hard. It's now four to three, Lady Lions. Rosman was not messing around with that one. So it'll be Boswell serving. The sophomore with the jump serve. Krenz tried to dig it up, but can't do it. So it is now four to four. Boswell serves again. And it hits the net. I would say if Boswell has, if you want to say a weakness, it's the serve because she's put it into the net several times now. Man, she does everything else well. Shaw will be serving for the Lady Lions. Wiley with it. <coughs> over to Henderson. And then Smoot sends it home, making it 5-5. Five to five. Oh, wait. What? Oh, they said they went over the net? Amy Broadbeck is not happy with that. It, it looked like everything was good, but they said that McCallum went over the net, so it's now 6-4 to four Lockhart. Shaw will serve again. It's a deep serve. Boswell gets it over to Henderson. Oh, Rosman tried to dink it over, and it hits the net. So it's now 7-4 to four Lockhart. 
So as the pressure builds in this fourth game, we'll see how McAllen, because being such a young team, how they respond. Because right now they're they're behind a bit. We'll see how they respond to it. Shaw's serve is deep. Wiley gets it. Henderson. They oh goodness gracious! What a block by Reynolds there. Ruggio. Oh wait, they're gonna say Ruggio was in the net. Nope, not Ruggio. It was Young that was in the net. So seven to five is your score. And it's going to be Rosman going to be serving for McCallum. There's her serve. Tadillo with it. Over to Ruggio. <laughs> Ruggio to Kranz. Oh, it just gets over the net. My goodness, what a nice play there by Smoot. And then number 10, Fannin finishes him off. So it is 7-6, to six, Lady Lions. But McCallum is roaring back in this one. Rosman with the serve, and it goes long. So it's 8-6, to six, Lady Lions. They will have a lot of seniors next year because about five or six of these girls are juniors. So it will be Miller serving with an 8-7 to seven lead. Boswell over to Henderson. Reynolds sends it over. Smoot gets it. Young blocks it. But the ball will go out of bounds, and it's now 8-8. Eight to eight. So they have battled their way back into this match. And it will be number three, Clary Cottle. She has had a great night serving the ball. Another good serve. Miller to Reynolds, Wiley with it, over to Boswell. Krenz digs it, Miller with it, to Ruggio. It's blocked by the freshman Workington. Reynolds tries to dink it over, couldn't get it done. She hits it over, Reynolds hit it hard that time, and she'll score the point. So Reynolds tried to dink it over, didn't work. They hit it right back at her, and she spiked it home. Reynolds will check out, Stevens will check in. Nine to eight, Lady Lions. Kelsey at the back line, serves it over. Wiley with it, over to Henderson. Smoot, Smoot hits it home. Nine to nine. Smoot has had a nice night. Smoot, just a junior. Number nine, Brianna Martinez, a sophomore, will check in to serve. She's had a nice night serving as well. So they get it over to Miller, Miller to Ruggio. Ruggio hits it off the hands of Martinez, and it's now 10-9 to 9 in favor of your Lady Lions. Young will check out. Shaw will check in. Cadillo serving. Martinez over to Henderson. To Mark oh, great hit by Workington, the freshman. She went off the hands of Shaw, making it 10 to 10. Back and forth we go in the fourth game here. <clears throat> so it'll be Wiley serving. Ruggio gets it to Miller, to Shaw. Nice block by number five, Presley Boswell, the sophomore. She also had Rosman there with her. Those two girls pretty much denied that one. It's 11 to 10 McCallum now. Wiley serves again. Stevens to Miller to Krenz. Wiley to Henderson to Boswell. Stevens over to Henderson. Rosman, good job as Miller sends it over. Wiley gets it up. Martinez. To Miller, to Krenz, it's blocked. And they say four hits. 12 to 10 McCallum. <clears throat> It'll be Wiley serving. 12 to 10 McCallum as they have battled their way back and now have the lead. Stevens, to Miller, to Ruggio, 
Boswell with the block, and it's right in. 13 to 10, McCallum. Lockhart's gonna call a timeout, and we'll take one. You're listening to Lion Country Broadcast Network and KMAX Sports to Fight Magazine. Chisholm Trail Barbecue features slow-cooked brisket, hot sausage, beef, and pork ribs done the right way. In a town famous for barbecue, Chisholm Trail is where the locals come to eat. Visit Chisholm Trail Barbecue, 1323 South Colorado in Lockhart, and come by after the game. Chisholm Trail Barbecue stays open until midnight after every home football game. All right, we're back here at McCallum High School where if if you're anywhere near this high school, you might want to come watch these, this game because this has been a great, great contest tonight by both teams. Lockhart, the number two team, 7-1 in district play. McCallum, the number three team, 6-2 in district play. McCallum, the younger team. They're definitely the taller team, but they're the younger team. Wiley has been on a tear here for McCallum. Lindsey Wilder, the senior, has served in several points. They now have a 13-10 lead on Lockhart. Lockhart is ahead 2-1 in the games. Cadillo gets it. Over to Miller. To Krenz. And it falls in. Good job by Krenz. Set up nicely by Miller. 13-11. The Lady Lions coming back now. And it looks like senior Abby Ruggio with her jump serve will be serving. Wiley with it, over to Henderson. She dinks it over. Stevens with it. Ruggio gets it over the net. Henderson again. Over to Boswell. It's blocked, but it's in. 14 to 11, McCallum on top. Boswell has been something else tonight. And that brings the other sophomore, Henderson, serving. It goes out of bounds. 14 to 12 now. Callie Crins will be serving for the Lady Lions. It's 14 to 12 McCallum. The Knights are on top. Crins with her jump serve. There it is. Nice job by Wiley over to Henderson. Shaw was able to save the day there. Oh, they tried to get a spiked home with um, number 10, Fannin, but it hit the net. So that'll go to Lockhart. It's 14 to 13. McCallum on top. Krenz gets another serve. There's her jump serve. It hits the net. It falls, but they're able to get there. Wiley gets it over to Boswell. Boswell to Cadillo. Cadillo gets the ball over there to Ruggio. Shaw tried to spike it home, and they blocked it back. It was Shane Rosman, the junior, with the block. It's 15 to 13, McCallum. And now another sophomore serving in Boswell. 15 to 13, McCallum. Boswell will be serving. Krenz with it. Over to Ruggio. To Miller. Miller with a great spike. Hits it to the back line. Boswell tried to dive for it, but she couldn't get to it. 15 to 14, McCallum on top. Sydney Shaw will be serving. They're down the line. Good. Oh, what a nice serve as uh, Smoot tried to get to it, but it hit the net. It's now 15 to 15. Sydney Shaw has now tied the game for us. Will Lockhart be able to win this three games to one, or will we go to a fifth game? Shaw's serve is on the way. Wiley with it. Over to Henderson. To Smoot. Good job by Reynolds. To Ruggio. To Miller. Krenz with it. To, to Ruggio. To Reynolds. And it's long, so it'll go in the way of McCallum. 16-15 McCallum. That'll bring up the junior, Rosman to serve. Rosman will serve with a one-point one lead here. Miller to Ruggio to Young, and Young stuck at home. 16 to 16, nice play by um, Reynolds to set up Young. 16 to 16. 
It's going to bring up Miller serving. Brooklyn Miller serve is on the way. Henderson. Cadillo with the dig. Ruggio. And she spikes it home. Cadillo's dig saved the day on that one because it was a nice hit by Fannin, but she dug it up. And Miller set up uh, Ruggio, and she stuck it home. 17-16, the Lady Lions are on top. Miller will serve. Smoot. Smoot again. Krenz. Miller. Reynolds. And a nice block. The freshman, Grace Workington, was there for the block. 17-17. And here comes number three, Clary Cottle, the senior, who's had a nice night for McCallum tonight in service. Krenz to Miller and Young, but it goes into the net. 18 to 17, McCallum on top. Cottle will go back to serve again. One of two seniors on this team. There's her serve. Ruggio to Miller to Ruggio, and she hits it into the net. 19-17, McCallum. I mean, we started an hour and a half late. We might as well stay here till midnight playing volleyball. 19-17. Cotto with the serve. Cadillo to Miller to Reynolds. Good job there by Boswell. And then they went out of bounds as they tried to go to Workington and she went too long with the hit. It's now 19 to 18. Reynolds checks out. Kelsey Stevens checks in and Kelsey will be serving. They're down 19 to 18 are the Lady Lions. Wyler with it. Over to Henderson. Nice hit there by uh, Smoot. Makes it 20 to 18. So it almost seems like whoever sits by us ends up winning the match. That's the way it's been so far. Martinez will be serving. She's a sophomore. Nice job by Cadillo. Krenz with it. Over to Ruggio. Henderson to Wiley to Boswell. Miller with it. To Ruggio. Oh, and it hits the light. Ruggio was trying to set it up and it hit the light. It's 21 to 18. And Lockhart's going to call a timeout. They're down 21 18. We'll take a timeout. You're listening to Lion Country Broadcast Network and KMAX Sports through Bright Magazine. For over 15 years, Rain and Drywall and Paint has been serving Lockhart and the surrounding counties. We are experienced in all phases of construction. You can count on us for any exterior or interior painting job. Call 512-925-0634 to schedule an appointment with Rain and Drywall and Paint today. All right, we're back here at McCallum High School. It is 2118. McCallum is on top. Anybody that sits by us usually wins is the way it's played out so far. Lockhart's going to have to battle back because we're down at the tail end here of the fourth game of the match. McCallum has service. It'll be Martinez, the sophomore, as she's going to try to add to her total. Here's her serve. Stevens, Ruggio gets it over. Wiley to Boswell, and she hits it into the net. She doesn't make many mistakes, but she hit it into the net. 21-19. It's hard to believe how these young players from McCallum, they're pretty composed when they play. Cadillo will be serving. Down two. Henderson over to Boswell, off the hands of Shaw. They give it to Ruggio. She hits it hard, and it's saved. What a play by McCallum, because that looked like it was over on that one. Miller over to Krenz, a nice block, and they're going to say that the freshman was in the net. She can't believe it. Workington looked like she had a good block, but they said she was in the net, so that makes it 21-20 to 20 now.
Here comes Cadillo's serve. Good job there by Cadillo. Working thin, hits it into the net. We're tied at 21. So they're going to call timeout now. It's 21 21. We're going to take another break. You're listening to Lion Country Broadcast Network and KMAC Sports through Bright Magazine. Meitler Storage is locally owned by Angela and Darren Meitler. Since 2002, Meitler Storage is just off Highway 142 in Maxwell, Texas, across from the Valero. For an appointment, call 512-398-7100. Your business is always appreciated. And a reminder, once a lion, always a lion. Go Lions! Right, while we're going here at McCallum High School, I want to give a shout out to our QA, Mitchell Padgett. Thank you, Mitchell, for what you do. We really appreciate you staying up past your bedtime to listen to our game tonight. Um, also giving a shout out to Rudy Cadillo, who would love to be here but cannot. Want to shout out to him. And the Sarge, if he's still awake, usually he's with us sitting in between me and McKelty doing football. But since we have the bye week, Sarge is at home. And we're staying up late watching this. We usually get home earlier after football games. Cadillo trying to put Lockhart on top. It's 21-21. Nice serve. Wiley's going to send it over the net. Cadillo and, and Ruggio got in each other's way. And it goes 22-21 in favor of McCallum. They ran into each other and the ball goes out of bounds. So that will bring up uh, the Lindsey Wiley, the senior. She has a one-point lead. Ruggio to Miller to Krenz. Good job there up front by Rosman. Boswell sends it home. Not stopping that one. 23-21. McCallum on top. Wiley's going to try to finish this one off. Crowd's starting to get into it now. Wiley's serve is on the way. Stevens with it. Over to Miller. To, to Ruggio. And Ruggio's had enough. As she sends it home cross court. 23-22 McCallum. But now it will be service to Lockhart. And who better to have a serve than Ruggio here. Abby Ruggio, the senior. Her serve's on the way. Wiley to Henderson, to Rosman, to Ruggio. Over to Miller, to Ruggio. Kato with the dig. Over to Boswell. Boswell sends it home. 24-22 McCallum. What a match this has been. So it's 24-22. The sophomore, Sophia Henderson, will be serving, trying to finish this game off. Cadillo to Ruggio. Miller, over the net it goes. Rosman to Henderson to Boswell. And it's over as it went home. I thought Shaw got the block, but she did not. That's how the sec or the fourth match will end. 25-22 in favor of McCallum. We're going to take another break and come back for the fifth and final game. You're listening to Lion Country Broadcast Network and KMX Sports through Bite Magazine. Let First Lockhart National Bank reward you with First Star Rewards Checking, where you earn on your rewards checking balance, get free ATM refunds nationwide, plus so much more. Come on by one of our locations in Lockhart, Kyle, or South Austin <coughs> to visit with one of our bankers to see how you can get started earning rewards today. You can also check us out online at firstlockhart.com. Dr. Peterson and his staff at Chisholm Trail Clinic of Chiropractic are here to serve you. We've been voted Best Chiropractor and Best Chiropractor's Office for five years running. Are you bothered by headaches, back pain, or neck pain? Call Chisholm Trail Clinic of Chiropractic at 512-668-4163 to make your appointment. Mention this ad to receive a consultation, exam, and x-rays if needed for only $20. Call 512-668-4163 and begin your journey to hope, healing, and health. Hello Americans, Mark Twain said, a broken promise is better than no promise at all. Well, you and I both know when we make a promise, we keep it. Chuck Nash Auto Group has been doing that for years. They offer up the kind of one-on-one -on -one service that will follow the taillights of your pre-owned vehicle deep into that gorgeous Texas sunset. By the way, Chuck Nash will give you $750 more for your car, buy or trade. And now you know. 
the best of the story. All right, we're back here at McCallum High School where the Knights were able to come back and get game four. We're now heading to game five. Things that are going to happen for the volleyball team and us covering them for the remainder of the year. Now, we do not cover them on October 9th. We're not going to be doing that game there. But we will have the game at home on October the 16th. And then we'll turn around the next week and get the game on October 23rd. Both of those home games for the Lady Lions. They play Dripping Springs on the 16th. They play LBJ on the 23rd. And then the week after that one, by district starts, which is the 29th and the 30th of October, we will be covering their matches. As long as they win, we'll be covering them. From what Coach told us before the game, it's going to be somewhere in the New Braunfels area, somewhere in between San Antonio and Lockhart is where they'll probably have those games played. So again, we'll have the 16th at home against Dripping Springs, the number one team in the district. And then we'll play the number four team in the district, LBJ on the 23rd, and then by districts on the 29th and the 30th. That's what we have for the Lady Lions when it comes to volleyball. Next Friday, we'll be covering the Lockhart Lions football team again as they had a bye this week. We'll be playing at Bernie Champion. Right now, the Lions find themselves in the playoff hunt, and a win over Bernie Champion would not only be huge for the program, but would solidify that chance at the playoffs. So, as we've said before, whoever sits by us wins the match. We're hoping that's not the case now because McCallum's still sitting by us. We're getting ready to start game five. We're two to two here. So if we ever do a basketball game in McCallum, I am bringing a hoodie and I may be wearing jeans for that game as I'm wearing shorts and a polo tonight and freezing my tail off. Abby Ruggier will start things off. Cotto will try to get it. She gets over to Wiley. Wiley to Boswell. Over to Cadillo. To Ruggio. To Shaw. Set over there by Martinez. They try to send it home for Rosman. But Shaw said, no, I don't think so. She blocks it back. It's one to nothing. Lady Lions on top. Sydney Shaw putting on a show in the center, blocking the ball. Abby Ruggio, second serve to Martinez. Over to Anderson, to Boswell. It's long. It's now two to nothing, Lady Lions. Again, this is a young McCallum team, and they've played well all night. Ruggio for serve number three. It's over to Cottle, to Henderson, to Boswell. Boswell's long again. It's three to nothing. I have not seen Boswell make that many mistakes, and she's done it two times in a row now. Three to nothing. Abby Ruggio serving. She hits the net, but it falls in. She hit the net, but it rolled over the top. It is four to nothing. Lady Lions, McCallum calls a timeout. We're going to take a timeout. You're listening to Lion Country Broadcast Network and KMAX Sports, the Vibe Magazine. Meitler Storage is locally owned by Angela and Darren Meitler. Since 2002, Meitler Storage is just off Highway 142 in Maxwell, Texas, across from the Valero. For an appointment, call 512-398-7100. Your business is always appreciated. And a reminder, once a lion, always a lion. Go Lions! All right, we're back here at McCallum Te uh, High School in Austin, Texas. It's a late night here for us as we were supposed to start at 7.30. We didn't get started till 9. It's closing in on 11, and we're still playing high school volleyball, and this fifth and final game of the match just started. It's 4 to nothing as Abby Ruggio scored four points. McCallum had to call a timeout. Ruggio's back to service. Martinez to Henderson. Holy mackerel. <laughs> Rosman, the junior, just ripped one, and it's now four to one. What a hit by Rosman. So it'll be the sophomore, Sophia Henderson, serving for McCallum. Krenz to Ruggio. Shaw over to Wiley, to Henderson, 
to Boswell. She dinks it home. It's now four to two as McCallum starting to battle back. Henderson to Krenz to Cadillo. Oh, I'm sorry, to Ruggio. Miller spikes it down the line. It's in. Five to two, the Lady Lions. Miller hasn't really had a lot of spikes tonight, but that one was pretty. Callie Krenz will now be in service. Five to two, your Lady Lions on top. Game five. She hits it into the net. Five to three. Oh, and if it wasn't for our producer, McKelty Altier, we would not even have a scoreboard tonight as our genius did her thing and got us set up. So you have a scoreboard to see tonight. Boswell will be serving the sophomore. Cadillo with it. To Ruggio. To Kranz. It is blocked by Rosman. It's now 5-4. to four. McCallum has battled their way back into this one. Boswell to serve. She hits a nice one. Krenz digs it up. Ruggio to Miller. It's long. It's five to five. So the sophomore Boswell. Here comes the jump serve. Oh, Ruggio saved that one. That, almost, that was almost dangerous there. Cadillo hits it over. They give it to Rosman. Saved by Krenz. Over to Cadillo. Henderson to Wiley. And Smoot tried to dink it down the line but knocked it out of bounds. Six to five, the Lady Lions. Cadillo checks out. Young checks in. Shaw, the service. Wiley to Henderson. Nice job there by Ruggio to Miller to Reynolds. Basel over to Henderson to Smoot, and it goes long. Seven to five, the Lady Lions are on top. This has been quite a showdown between these two teams. It's never easy to beat a team three times in one year. Lockhart's got their hands full tonight. Shaw sends it to Wiley. Henderson to Boswell. And Shaw could not dig it up. Boswell with the hit. Seven to six, Lady Lions. If we were doing players of the game for McCallum, I'd have to give Boswell one of those nods. Wiley with the service to Miller, to Ruggio. Back to Miller, and it hits the net. It's now tied at seven. At the end of tonight's contest, we will have the Chuck Nash Offensive Player of the Game and the Farm Bureau Defensive Player of the Game. It's all tied at seven here as Wiley is serving. Lindsay serve to Krenz, to Ruggio, to Reynolds. Nice dig there. Smoot tries to finish it. Rhett Young is there. And it's the freshman, Workington, who sticks it home. Eight to seven, McCallum. Cadillo to Ruggio to Miller. It's, oh, Smoot couldn't get the block. It's eight to eight. Smoot tried to get the block, but it kind of stuck in between her hands and fell on her chest. So it's eight to eight here. This has been some kind of match. I guess it was worth the wait. Miller serving for Lockhart. Boswell to Henderson to Smoot. Cadillo could not dig it up. It's nine to eight McCallum. Nice job by Smoot. So the senior comes in, Clary Cottle. She's had a good night tonight. Ruggio to Miller to Ruggio. Wiley gets it over to Henderson to Smoot. Blocked by Young, but it goes out of bounds. 
10 to 8, McCallum. <clears throat> They're going to call a timeout, Locker. Will, so we'll take a timeout with them. You're listening to Lion Country Broadcast Network and KMAX Sports Keep Right Magazine. Let First Lockhart National Bank reward you with First Star Rewards Checking, where you earn on your rewards checking balance, get free ATM refunds nationwide, plus so much more. Come on by one of our locations in Lockhart, Kyle, or South Austin to visit with one of our bankers to see how you can get started earning rewards today. You can also check us out online at firstlockhart.com. All right, we're back here at McCallum High School where McCallum is up 10-8 to here in Game 5. Again, Lockhart wins this. They have a two-game advantage over McCallum. If McCallum wins this, these two teams are tied for second right now. This is a huge match for Lockhart, but even bigger for McCallum. Cotta, will, the senior, will serve with a 10-8 to advantage. Can Lockhart step it up and on the road get the victory? Here comes the serve. Krenz to Miller. Over the net she goes. Henderson was able to get it, but it was knocked out of bounds. It will go to Lockhart. Henderson tried to hit it down the line. It went out of bounds. 10-9 to nine is your score. McC McCallum is still on top. Reynolds checks out. Stevens checks in. And she will serve. Wiley. Over to Workington. Boswell takes it over. Miller. Oh, goodness. As Krenz just about got one for us. Miller to Krenz. Nice dig by Wiley. Boswell over. Uh, Stevens to Miller to Ruggio. Back and forth we go. Wiley to Smoot. Miller with the dig, Smoot to Miller, Cadillo to Krenz. Wiley digs it again. Henderson to Cadillo to Miller to Krenz. Wiley again. Boswell, and it's going to go long. We're all tied at 10. That was an exchange. The senior, Lindsey Wiley, has played great on the de defensive side of the ball for McCallum. Kelsey Stevens will serve it. Hender or Cottle over to Henderson. The freshman working then hits it too long. It's now 11 to 10. Lockhart has the lead. Kelsey Stevens trying to keep serve going on here. 11 to 10 Lady Lions. Game five. Wiley to Henderson to Boswell. Dig by Miller, or by Stevens, I'm sorry. Henderson to Smoot, and Smoot sticks it home. It's now a tied at 11. Back and forth we go. Neither one of these teams wants to lose this match tonight. Something tells me we're going to be playing into extra points by the time this is all said and done. Here comes Martinez, the sophomore. Stevens. Oh, they called Miller for an illegal hit. So it's now 12 to 11, McCallum. Martinez will be serving again with a 12 to 11 lead. Krenz to Miller, to Ruggio, and it's in there. 12 to 12. Ruggio sticks that one on almost just inside the line. We're back to serving again. Great job there by Miller to set up Ruggio. Cadillo would be serving. Cottle to Henderson to Boswell. And Boswell stuck at home. 13 to 12, McCallum. Boswell's had a great night tonight. They'll bring up number six, Janelle Copeland, the junior. And it goes out of bounds, so it's right back to Lockhart. And we're tied at 13. 
I feel like we're watching one of the Rocky movies where they just keep beating each other up, but nobody was going to go down. Ruggio serve. Wiley. Over to Henderson. She gets it to Boswell. Cadillo to Krenz. Wiley with the save. Over to Boswell. St Stevens. And then it's number seven, Rosman. Sticks it home. 14-13, timeout. We're going to take a timeout. You're listening to Lion Country Broadcast Network and KMAX Sports through Vibe Magazine. Johnny and Sons Pain Body has been Lockhart's premier collision repair and auto body shop since 1967. Certified iCar Standard, the highest ranking in the collision industry. For all your collision needs, come by and see Johnny and Sons 400 Blackjack in Lockhart. Johnny and Sons Pain Body, we won't steer you wrong. All right, we're back here at McCallum High School. It is 11 o'clock. We're still playing volleyball. We were supposed to start at 7.30. We started at 9. Two hours later, we're still playing volleyball. And this is when every game, freshman, 2-1 to one Lockhart, had to win 26-24 in their last game. The JV had to win their last game 26-24, win all three there. Here, we are battling back and forth. It's 14-13 McCallum. And it will be number one, Sophia Henderson, the sophomore, serving for McCallum. Krenz to Ruggio, back to Krenz, and it's in there. What a play by Krenz. 14-14. Ruggio set that one up. Callie Krenz, after making the great play, will now have service with her jump serve. Wiley gets it over to Henderson, to Boswell, and it's blocked by Reynolds, but it goes out of bounds. 15 to 14, McCallum. Back and forth we go. That'll bring up number five, Presley Boswell, the sophomore. There's her serve, Krenz. Over to Ruggio, to Reynolds. Wiley gets it. Oh, what a block by Miller. What a block by Miller. Smoot had that. A great hit by Smoot, but Miller blocks it back home. 15 to 15. Sidney Shaw, the senior, will now be serving. This has been a fantastic contest tonight. Shaw's serve is on the way. Smoot with it. Over to Henderson. Back to Smoot. Reynolds to Ruggio to Krenz. Wiley gets it to Henderson to Boswell. Krenz dives, but she can't save it. 16 to 15, McCallum on top. That'll bring up the senior, Lindsey Wiley, to serve. Miller with it to Ruggio, back to Miller. Wiley with it to Henderson, to Krenz. Over to Ruggio, Young, to Henderson, to Boswell, Krenz, Henderson, Reynolds, and they cannot save it. Reynolds with a great play for Lockhart, tying the score, 16-16. This has been crazy good volleyball tonight. Both teams playing excellent. Miller with the serve. Boswell to Henderson. Nice hit. Cadillo with the dig. Over to Ruggio. Wiley with it to Henderson. Over to Smoot. But it's blocked by Ruggio. Ruggio gets up there and stops Smoot. It's 17 to 16. Lockhart on top. There's a timeout by McCallum. We're going to take a timeout. You're listening to Lion Country Broadcast Network and KMX Sports Food Bright Magazine. Hello, Americans. Mark Twain said, a broken promise is better than no promise at all. Well, you and I both know when we make a promise, we keep it. Chuck Nash Auto Group has been doing that for years. They offer up the kind of one-on-one -on -one service that will follow the taillights of your pre-owned vehicle deep into that gorgeous Texas sunset 
By the way, Chuck Nash will give you $750 more for your car, buy or trade. And now you know the best of the story. All right, we're back here at McAllen High School. This is the first volleyball game I've ever had to call. Man, has it been exciting. <laughs> I just got a text message from one of my buddies saying he's, it's a nerve-wracking game, and yes, it is for either side. 17 to 16, Lockhart is on top. Miller will be serving for Lockhart. Fans are on their feet. And it's just as loud as it was in the freshman and the JV games tonight. Henderson to the freshman, but Cadillo's there. Krenz to, uh, to Ruggio. Oh my gosh, it's back and forth. What a play there as uh, Henderson was able to set up Fannin. It was just back and forth so quick, almost couldn't keep up. 17 to 17 is your score. Both teams refusing to go down. That'll bring up the senior for McCallum, Clary Cottle. Nice serve, Krenz with it. Over to Miller, to Ruggio. Wiley with it to Henderson. To Boswell, Miller, to Ruggio, Wiley again, Henderson, Boswell, it's going to go long, 18 to 17 Lockhart's on top. So Stevens will check in, Reynolds will check out, Kelsey Stevens, a senior, is going to be serving. Here's your serve, Wiley with it to Henderson. Oh, goodness. Smoot. So I guess, ah, I got you. So that was it. Smoot tried to hit it. It went out of bounds, making it 19 to 17. Your Lady Lions will stay in second place with a win, 19 to 17. We're going to take a commercial break. We'll get your offense and defensive players of the game, and then we'll call it a night. You're listening to Lion Country Broadcast Network and KMAC Sports through Fright Magazine. First Star Rewards Checking, where you earn on your rewards checking balance, get free ATM refunds nationwide, plus so much more. Come on by one of our locations in Lockhart, Kyle, or South Austin to visit with one of our bankers to see how you can get started earning rewards today. You can also check us out online at firstlockhart.com. Dr. Peterson and his staff at Chisholm Trail Clinic of Chiropractic are here to serve you. We've been voted Best Chiropractor and Best Chiropractor's Office for five years running. Are you bothered by headaches, back pain, or neck pain? Call Chisholm Trail Clinic of Chiropractic at 512-668-4163 to make your appointment. Mention this ad to receive a consultation, exam, and x-rays if needed for only $20. Call 512-668-4163 and begin your journey to hope, healing, and health. You can tell the Pitmasters are making the magic happen every time you walk through the doors of Kreitz Market. The delicious smell of smoked meats greets your every visit. Not going to be in Lockhart for a while? Kreitz Market ships nationwide. Stop by Kreitz Market at 619 North Colorado in Lockhart or find us on the web, kreitzmarket.com. That's K-R-E-U-Z market.com. No sauce, no forks, just good taste naturally. All right, we're back here at McCallum High School. I think it's still Friday. Anyways, what a game. Freshmen win it two games to one. JV wins it two games to one. And the varsity wins it three games to two, winning 19 to 17 in the last one. So we're going to go ahead real quickly and get your offense and defensive players of the game for Lockhart. So first of all, we'll go to the defensive side. Both of these girls played outstanding defensively. And we're gonna go with co-winners of the Farm Bureau Defensive Players of the Game. Sydney Shaw was a beast at the net blocking shot after shot after shot. She is the uh, co uh, one of the co-defensive players of the game. The other defensive player of the game was on the back side, the back line, in Carla Cadillo. Carla Cadillo is also with Sydney Shaw as the defensive players of the game and they, uh, they just played fantastic. Those two girls were all over the place. 
But it was no, there's no question who the offensive player of the game was. The Chuck Nash offensive player of the game goes to senior Abby Ruggio as her great play was one reason why the Lady Lions were able to get a 3-2 victory tonight and stay in second place and have a two-game advantage now on the McCallum Lady Knights. The Lady Knights are a young team. They are good. They are talented, and they are well coached. You're going to see a lot from these girls in the future. So they will drop McCallum to 17-17 overall, 6-3 in district play, and Lady Lions will go to 24-9 overall, 8-1 in district play. And uh, just to kind of give our team here again, QA was Mitchell Padgett. Thank you, Mitchell, for what you do for us. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't even be on here. I want to thank my my producer, McKelty Altier, senior at Lockhart High School. If it wasn't for her, you would not have had a scoreboard as she was able to somehow, the way these young kids can do it, finagle a way to get the way both schools' mascots were up there and give you a scoreboard to see. Appreciate what she does and the fact that she even is starting to talk a little bit more. And then for myself, Scott Smith, play-by-play -play guy, for my first game of doing volleyball, this was exciting. I'm glad I was here. I can't wait for the next one. For us, though, the next game for us, McKelty, the Sarge, and I will be next Friday as we'll go to Bernie Champion where the boys will play football. And that's huge for the boys because if they can win that, they are solidifying themselves into the playoffs, and they make Bernie Champion 0-3 for the first time in district play in probably 200 years. So who knows? But anyways... Tonight was a great night for the Lions. Glad we were here. Unfortunately, it's like 11.30 right now, so we'll be getting home about, oh, I don't know, 1 o'clock in the morning, it seems like. But anyways, a shout-out to the Sarge, a shout-out to Rudy Cadillo and everybody else that was listening. Thank you very much. Thank you for listening, and have a great night.